Welcome to this episode of the Have A Word How Podcast. Are we, lads? <laughs> We've got some stuff to tell you about. Before we tell you anything, we're live in Dublin, a live podcast in Dublin, Thursday, the 6th of July. We've got some guests for you. Do you want to know who's on? Why don't you tell them who's on, Dan? Or do you want me to tell them? What, what way do you want to do this? I'll, I'll do one, you do the other. Okay. Uh, with my first pick, I'm going Darren Conway. Darren Conway, local legend Loves to the Dublin salad. area. Irish hero, a man salad. of the people. And he's going to be joining us for the podcast section in Dublin. Also joining us for the podcast section and doing a little bit of stand-up is local legend Willa White. I met this lad uh, in January when I was over at the Laughter Lounge. He's absolutely fucking brilliant and we're very, very, very excited to have both of them. Haveawordlive.com. That's where you get your tickets for the live shows. We're very excited. Glasgow's nearly sold out. Dublin, there's a couple of hundred tickets left. And now that these two guests have been announced, they're going to go quickly. Go to haveawordlive.com and book your tickets now. Also, we've got the biggest patron in the UK, one of the biggest in the world. You know why? Because it's the best and it's value. If you love Have A Word, sign up to patreon.com slash haveawordpod for as little as £3 a month. You get some good shit, Adam. You get early access to these public episodes. You get an extra episode exclusive to Patreon every single week and you get access to the entire back catalogue, not just of those Patreon exclusive episodes, but the Patreon specials, every lock-in we've ever done, Nashville, uh, the Amsterdam special, the ghost hunts, there's so many things there. There's hundreds of hours of content and you get it all for three quid. Go and sign up at patreon.com slash have a word pod now and see why we are the best Patreon in the world, pound for pound. You know it, baby. Wag Wag Leeds, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game from the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best products on the market for below the waist grooming. Go Ed, get on me. It's too hot to is sleep. It? I've had no sleep because it's too hot. I also had a nightmare last night. Oh, no, I'll, I'll babe, you're right. No, I slept for a bit and then I had a nightmare and then the combination of the heat and the terror <laughs> kept me awake again. Am I in the nightmare? No. All right, cool. Don't tell us about it. A Go political journalist was trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Russian? No. All right. Andrew Ma? No. Nina Nana? wouldn't be capable. It was a f it, they're not real. Well, they have to be real, don't they? You can't make somebody up. Who was it? Yeah, you can. You can't. What? It's impossible to make a face up in your dreams, isn't no, it? No. I'm sure the face belongs That's to someone. That's saying who was the face. But it wasn't like, you know, Shil Pichetti. It, was, it wasn't like... Shil Pichetti. <laughs> the famous <laughs> political journalist. <laughs> Shil Pichetti's trying to kill me. <laughs> She's so racist. I was at a, a, a Labour Party fundraiser and then <laughs> Labour won like a seat by like a million miles. Yes. And then a political journalist had been writing for ages going, oh, uh, there's no way Labour win this one. And then they did. And then everyone was like, Adam said they would, to be fair. She should be <laughs> fired. So she got fired. But then we were walking, I was walking home through the streets of Dovecot with our Jack. And she was just on the other side of the road with her husband crying because she'd been fired. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, I've got a boat. Do you want to come on me boat? Just go down onto the boat. And I was like, I'll do it another night. And I was like, oh, she's trying to kill me here. To our Jack. And then she was like, oh, I can't be asked doing it another night. Get on the boat. And then she pulled the gun out and then I woke up. So and when I woke up, I went and checked me whole flat to make sure she wasn't in it. <laughs> Shilper! <laughs> Shilper! <laughs> Shilper! She's not here. Do you ever do that though when you're scared? Do you go and check every room? What? I checked every room. I went and checked the other bedroom. No, I opened every my wardrobe. eyes. I open my eyes and go, oh yeah, I'm back in the it rational world. Takes a couple world. of seconds though. I love the idea of your, in your dream, Labour winning a seat. Uh, that's great. That's also not a nightmare. <laughs> that's a fucking sweet, sweet future dream. And then the fact that you're walking home in Dovey with your Jack and then the political journalist is just across the road with her husband because she lives in Dovecot as well. I love no, it. No, she didn't live in Dovecot. She no, lives on the marina. It's the fact that people went. It's the fact that people went. Oh, yeah, Adam called this. <laughs> yeah, but he is having the dream, isn't he? So she loses <laughs> her job. Adam called this. Because I was having a go with her, going, how did you not see this coming? Right. And she was like the lead political journalist for whatever, like the BBC or something. Right, okay. The Dovecot she Express. You know, something. Something important. Yeah. Um, I say, uh, 
That's a weird one. But it's coming, isn't it? The Some election. Though. I mean, <laughs> hopefully you're not going to get murdered by a... a, a I want to talk about that. I want to talk about nightmares. Right, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, got a, I've got a very vivid nightmare from when I was a kid. Uh, the sun got really big. But I was in my living room. And like, it wasn't like I was in like Shilpachetti's house in Dovecot, where it's kind of warped. I, in my dream, I was in my living room. So it felt real. And then out the window, the sun just kept, kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Until I woke up and I was that scared. I mean, that would be, that's the end of you, isn't it? That's the, the end, end of, of all world. of us. Yeah, it was like, it was like the end, well, like the end of the world. And like planets were there big in the sky. It's yeah. really scary. Sometimes I dream I have hair and then I wake up and the nightmare starts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When I was delirious, when I had a fever as a kid, I had a dream that Gordon Brown was chasing me on my bedroom. Oh my God. <laughs> You're so political in your dreams. <laughs> oh, Adam's just there going, Cuba. <laughs> Cuba, Taiwan. He's dreaming again. <laughs> Wake up. The people of Taiwan are free. Yeah. He's oh, for now. He's dreaming again. What did the other people think before they clarified that? He's dreaming again. Oh, God, yeah, it yeah. is. Cuba. <laughs> He's talking about the Cuban Missile Crisis. Like a dog dreaming. <laughs> oh, he must be in the park. <laughs> oh, he's running from a political journalist. <laughs> oh, no. He's dreaming like that. He's like this. <laughs> He must be in the park. <laughs> he must be in the park. Oh. Oh. He's mentioned he's mentioned Putin on the podcast now. He's dreaming about. Oh, you can, you mate. That's where that's where Putin poisons. Sp- oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Charlie sauce. That's where Putin poisons people. Oh, nice. It is, isn't it? In Salisbury, in the park, Livinenko, Liv- Alexander Livinenko. Yeah. They were after Peter Gabriel, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. Because Peter Gabriel lives on Salisbury Hill. <laughs> That's how he sang the song. Do, 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 do. I live on Salisbury Hill. Do, 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 Wasn't do. it Mark Chapman? What? Mark Chapman, wasn't it? What, the... Killed John Lennon, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. The sports presenter. Just trying to work Who out killed Lent Vignenko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chappers, he's a fucking nightmare. Someone said, you're shit on Match of the Day too," And he points at them. Um, you know they're two different people. <laughs> What? The person who killed John Lennon isn't now a host. It's not like a redemption story. No. It's so like a regen on footy manager. Home and away. Yeah. Mad. Different people. I'll like. never get it. Um, <laughs> do you ever get scared? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Do you ever get scared? In my dreams. Like, like in, you know, if you're in the house on your own, do you ever get scared? Yes. In the dark, I've told you. Only of starting wanking with the curtains open. That's one of them that'll get you. Oh, uh, no, but you never get like scared that someone's broken and they're coming to media. <laughs> oh. Who are you, my wife? <laughs> no, that's what Laura thinks. She's like, if you don't lock the door, Laura sounds like a very reasonable someone's person. Get, yeah, they will shoot me in the head. Do you never go times. downstairs at night and you haven't put the blinds down and it's dark outside? You think someone's going to go, hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up against the window. That is my biggest fear in life. Someone's just going, hey. <laughs> If, when I'm in the fridge and the window's behind me, I'm like, there's someone in the window going, hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the, in the kitchen. Yeah. With the, the kitchen yeah. window behind you. Yeah. Oh, my God. So do you jump easily if someone's waiting for you and goes, boo, you must be like, <laughs> oh, it's a murderer. It's if I go murderer. down and open the fridge and someone goes, boo, yeah. At night on my own downstairs, I'm scared. Fact. See, I think when, when you hide behind the door and go, ah, if people shit themselves. <laughs> if you didn't like that, ah, it <laughs> Um, I think Norm. I think it's because you think someone could be in the house. Yeah, like Laura jumped scared because she honestly is waiting for the murderer. Hang on, so Sorgul slasher. If I was in your wardrobe and I went, "Hey!" and you jumped, I go, "Ah, you think there's murderers in the house?" No, well, you would jump. You would, would definitely. Yeah, if you weren't expecting someone to jump out your wardrobe. In fact, I've got a video of you jumping when someone jumps out of a wardrobe on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I it wasn't a haunted house. To be fake fair. news. Fake news. Well, I just think Laura thinks it's. I, d- I think there's an initial like, ah, God, that's. Oh, I've been surprised. But Laura's like, <laughs> oh, they, he's come to kill us all. <laughs> G- genuinely, I can just walk into a room, quieter than she expects me to walk into a room, and she's like, oh God. Yeah, I'm like that. That's oh, a maternal my. thing, I think. No, I'm like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a maternal thing. <laughs> a, yeah, he's just so maternal. I don't think she's like, I protect the house. She's breaking someone's neck. 
That's you. I'm a mother. <laughs> Die. <laughs> ah, snapped your neck. <laughs> fucking journalist. Someone else walks in. Write a story about that. <laughs> you fucking journalist. <laughs> Shilpa fucking <laughs> shetty. Who is Shilpa shetty? Uh, She's, She's the, the absolute... One. The one who Jade is racist to. Yeah. Goody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Or racist about, racist too. Yeah. <laughs> you need to know, that's, that's the best way to describe it. You now know, you now know who she now, is. Now, 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 if I went Bollywood actor, who did gone. you think it was? Why did you say Shubal Shetty? Where was your head? Pretty Patel? No, my brain just went for a name and it went, yeah, I'm Shubal Shetty. <laughs> oh, bingo, Gaza, Shubal <laughs> ah, She's like the Pete Best of that trio. I can't believe you don't get scared. Um, What's your biggest fear? Uh, it's a good question. God, I don't know. Do you know what mine is? It's People being ambivalent towards me. I'd rather you hated me. That's your that, biggest that shows. fear. Yeah. Do you know what someone going, Carl's coming to go, oh. I'd rather someone go, oh no. Or like, yeah. Who going, I don't care. People being ambivalent <laughs> towards me. Like, I, I just kill that me. That shows in your behavior, to be fair. Yeah. Hate yeah. me or love me. Don't be. Yeah, you're, a, you're, I manage you're to do either both. a delight or a fucking wind up. Yeah, I never want to be oh, Carl's No one's ambivalent to you. I to think me. you've got that. Everyone loves You're me. the same. You either love or you hate. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. And that's the best way to be. I don't want, I don't want someone to think I'm okay. Ugh. <laughs> it's your biggest fear. Yeah. Ambivalence. It's, 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 you might be the only person that said that in it's the history than, of man. You know, It's bigger than like, oh, spiders, isn't it? Yours is fucking eggs or something, so I wouldn't fucking <laughs> pipe up just yet. <laughs> <laughs> eggs in the wardrobe. Putting most types of fish in my mouth. Ah. Possibly. Well, fear. That's not fear. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? You're not scared of fish in your mouth. Yeah, I am. Scared, as in like run What's away. What's the yellow one? I always go on about it. The haddock. Is it? <laughs> is it haddock? Haddock does stink like. Oh my god. Haddock's just like chip shop fish. But if a haddock jumped out of my cupboard, it's yellow scale, don't it? That'd be. No, that's just yellow fish. <laughs> oh, the yellow fish, Dan. Sorry. That is what it's called. Place. Yeah. If you if Place. you go to a fishmonger's <laughs> and I'm you ask for yellow fish, that's what they give you. Yellow fish. <laughs> My mum used to eat yellow fish. All right. Is there not a name for it though? Because that sounds like No. All right. She'd say, go to the shop and get me some yellow fish. Right. Yellow tang. And get me some red meat. <laughs> <laughs> Any of them. Give me some of that black dick. The, 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 <laughs> fruit, the fruit shop in a in, in Dovey used to sell fruits, vegetables, flowers, and fish. Yeah, right. but you, right. they never called them by the names. They were like, <laughs> "Give me some of the green fruit, and give me some red fruit, Can I have an orange, purple please? fruit, and orange." What? What am I scared of? Uh, like fear. You're not scared of fish. You're not. You're not scared of ambivalence no, either. No, I'm, you know what I'm scared of. I'm scared the of the sea. Yeah. When I jumped in off the back of the the <laughs> boat, <laughs> I pooed my pants in instantly. Tenerife. You oh. look down. You see it. You Did look it? down. I wore my goggles. It was a mistake. Were you there? No, I heard it. Oh. oh my God, it was so funny. The only reason I didn't get in the sea is because I was worried my shoulder would pop out in the sea. Otherwise, yeah. I'd have gone in the sea. Yeah. I love being in the sea. All them yellow fish swimming around. I love dangerous. being... Did you get scared because you looked in the water and couldn't see all the way to the bottom? Listen, love the sea. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I was at the beach for the whole of that holiday and then I'd need a piss and go in and look like I was there to swim, but I was there for a swim piss. International rules. Yeah. In it. Of course. Had a swim and then I swam out a bit. And once my feet can't touch the bottom, I'm like, I'm still all right. And then I, because I've got goggles on, you look down. And then when you see the great abyss, I start imagining sharks just swimming up and like intrusive thoughts start. Yep. But I can control them by going, yeah. But if I just come back a meter or two, I can see the bottom. So I'm fine. And it makes me I like enjoy the sea. Yep. I jumped off the back of that, whatever it was, Boat, yacht, yacht. It was a small yacht, it was wasn't a it? yacht, and super I yacht. <laughs> it was couldn't see anything. And I shit my pants and then tried to clamber back up and couldn't get back up. So my legs were flapping underneath. Oh, oh it was fucking horrible. And in my head, I'd let all the intrusive thoughts go. I was like, Yeah, shark's just gonna see my flapping you look like legs. A seal, thanks, singer. Man. The singer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that seal? similar feet? Um, the first reason you got scared was. They were fish. No, I didn't. I don't mind. I don't mind the fish. Oh. I don't mind little fish coming Steve up said for you cheese. Were scared of the fish? No, the, he fed some. He Come fed on, some cheese to fish. 
No, I'm genuinely, I'm, little fish don't live. Little fish don't bother me. It's it's not um, it's rational. I'm scared of sharks. And the woman was like, "There is no sharks." I'm like, "I don't trust you. You're not a sharkologist. <laughs> You're just a fit lesbian on a yacht." She was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wasn't a lesbian. She was she fucking choking on that fella. Defo. The second they, they dropped us off, they unlocked that bedroom and went into fork town. All right, cool. She's bisexual. She wasn't a lesbian. There was some passion there. She wasn't a lesbian. I know. I didn't really mean it. She I was, was lovely. I don't think you can differentiate between lesbians and Spanish women. Do you know what? It's been said before. <laughs> But to be fair, you think Shil Pachetti is a political journalist? <laughs> no, so I don't. It's one or. I said it wasn't Shil Pachetti. Do you know any other Spanish women? <laughs> he de he's definitely looking at, I think he was definitely looking at Adam there, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Either of you? I yeah. thought you were talking, I was talking to Dan. Oh, yeah. were you? Oh, yeah. Uh, Shakira? I thought Shakira, but is she? She's not no, Spanish. No, she's not. She's like Spanish. Like Colombia. She's Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. She's one of the Spanish. Hispanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know any Christina Spanish Aguilera. Women. Ika Casillas' wife. Oh, yeah. Ika Casillas' wife. The okay, famous Spanish woman. wife as well. <laughs> uh, Busquets' wife, probably. Yeah. Gerard Piquet's ex. Shakir. Oh! Oh! Colombia. I'm scared of them in the sea. If you see one of them swimming. A Shakira? Oh, yeah. What are you scared about them? Like actual fear. Jellyfish as well. Ugh. My, I think my height one's going away a little bit. Why? I don't know. As I've got older. I'm less scared of heights. Just try doing a skydive. I'm not scared of planes anymore. Or flying. That was that an actual fear, yeah. I suppose I've seen it when we went to Berlin. Yeah, I, I don't like taking off. I don't like takeoff. That's a dangerous yeah. bit, isn't it? Yeah, because like whenever there's like a plane crash on the news, it's always like and it crashed into a mountain six minutes after takeoff. Yeah. It's all it always it's always a media. The second one in the air, I'm like, oh it's out now. Is it? Is that genuinely the fear? Once you're up, you're fine. Yeah. He's right though, you I'm are exactly more safe in the sky. Can't yeah. crash in the sky. Yeah, once you can see the tarmac when you're landing, you're like, ah, we might, we'd survive this now. Yeah, I think that every time. <laughs> what did Billy Connolly say? We're at maiming height and we're safe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if we crash, we'll survive, but it won't be nice. Um, I don't you... love height, but that's, I don't think that's a fear. It's just, I know if I fall, I'm dead. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like that's not like a fear, is it? That's just knowledge. If I fall off this really tall building, I'm gonna die. Be, that's not a fear. Are you scared of falling or are you scared of like it, it's like, in love? <laughs> scared to trust again. Because <laughs> he just he loves too much. <laughs> ah, broken your neck. So what is your fear then? You must have a fear. Um when I wake up after I've had like a weird dream, I do check the old house to see if there's any people hiding in the cupboards. I did do that last night. She's I checked every room, didn't he? <laughs> she was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm getting a glass of water. Just doing a murder check. So your fear is people hiding in the cupboards? Yeah. What's yours, Finn? Uh, well, have it. Probably something existential. That's that's where I tend to go. Yeah. Maybe like that we're in a simulation. No. Why is that a fear, though? You can't run away from that. This is what I don't understand about like conspiracy theorists when they're like, do you know there's an Illuminati? They're running the world and I've figured it out from me Mars basement, right? No, look, if you look at this 9-11 thing, that means two packs are alive. If there's an Illuminati running the world over in a simulation, there's nothing we can do about it. So just enjoy it. And we know because they want us to know. But that's scary. Why? Wow. No, not having control. You haven't got control? I know, but that's scary in itself. What do you mean? Like, just... You don't have control of anything. You're just in a system. Unless you affect change. And that's when oh. Finn became a liberal Democrat. Um, I just, I just don't, I just, I don't know. That's just scares me. That, that whole uh, existentialism things. I just don't like it. Don't like thinking about what it. What would you do if you saw like the, the Matrix? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You just Cry. can't. Do you like if you were watching Top Gear. And they hadn't edited it properly, and yeah. someone was like, puppeting puppet Jeremy Hammond. Clarkson. Yeah. You were like, I used to think Jeremy Clarkson was real, and then saw the fucking strings. How would you feel about that? If Jeremy Clarkson was a marionette puppet. Uh, Do you know, for a second, I'd I thought devastated. he said Top Gun. I thought he said Top Gun. <laughs> and, I, and he said Jeremy Clarkson, and I was like, what? Top Gun 3 with this Jeremy Clarkson. This is the fastest plane <laughs> in the world. <laughs> I'd be devastated. He's my hero. I love Jezza. He smells nice. Stop sniffing, Jeremy Clarkson. 
There was one time, but it's really stuck with me. Have that's you sniffed Cliff Tarrant as well? I oh, know that was no, it. Wasn't. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a yeah. It was who wants to be a millionaire. That's why. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, I don't fear much in like general terms, but just the big life's what, big the questions. Big puppet of Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> that is scary. This is a classic stoner answer, isn't it? Like what's like my big fear is like what does it all mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like what is life? Is that like is that's my fear? What do you think the meaning of life like, is? That? Is Jeremy Clarkson gonna be in Top Gun Three? What do you think the meaning of life is? What do you think the point of life is? Why do you think you're here? I but, genuinely I, there's think no the reason. There's no reason I'm here. No, no, but I'm I saying. am here, and it's just a it's just a journey, and you can make it as good as you can. Okay, then. So what's a good journey for you? What's a good journey? Yeah, like what? What? what what's to try mean? and avoid misery and pain and suffering, no, that's obvious, and yeah. then tr try and make as many happy happy memories as you can, and just to experience what's good the point things. Making memories on a journey, though, if at the end of it there's nothing you can do with them, because they're not memories, then it's just nothing. If you if you just no, because you can enjoy the memories. What you you're saying that just because there's a finality to it, then that's the end of that. You could you if you can't enjoy something for eternity it's pointless enjoying the journey mm -hmm. no well that's not how i see it so i, I have, think like, you've got an amount of time or... you've got an amount of time and you don't know how long that time is so just do as many good things that make you feel good or or you enjoy those moments because life will we think we've said this before but life will hand you all the bad stuff like illness and fucking like accidents and stuff but you can make all those good moments by surrounding yourself with people you love and doing things that you enjoy that are like, even if it's just like, I've said it before, like if you just like jizzing, just jizz loads. It's nice. If you I like playing tennis, that is play a tennis. big part of the meaning of life is just to come as often as you just can. Just to come. And if you like walking in a park, make sure you get to do that. And if you like travel, go and Not travel. The same time. And if you don't, <laughs> if you just want to play PS5 or whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. As I'm saying, what's yours? That making ha making so is it family happy like, memories family memories. No, it's not just family. I'm not like yeah, it's all sorts, isn't it? It's, it's what's yours? And travel, I think. Like I don't want to get to the end of my life and go. I haven't seen everything I possibly could have. But you'll never do that. But that's only no, a, no, but I'm saying. But that's, that's only I'm a part of it, isn't it? Possibly, because genuinely, the times we sit, sit around crying, laughing, that's a big part of what I genuinely love and enjoy is laughing my fucking ass off and making people laugh. And that is a, that's why I've put so much energy into podcasting and comedy and stuff. But it's the same with my, all of my mates have got a great sense of humor. I just love- There you go, so you're one of yours yeah. is making people happy? Make, no, it's not just happiness. Cause, because happiness suggests that you're like, oh, you're having a lovely time. I, I like taking the piss and having a laugh. It, I love filling my life with that. And then family, and then travel, and then getting a bit drunk and eating good food and seeing lots of different things. But if I had to really rank them, like having a fucking laugh and enjoying someone's sense of humor and having, I love that. It's well up there. And I'd like to do that in many places in the world with all the different people of meeting new people and having a laugh with them. I, I, I think it's one of the most important things to me. Proving my indomitable competence. <laughs> Indominant? It, easy. Competence. Indominable, how, how, how do you say it? Indominable confidence. Wow. Confidence or competence? Competent. Oh God. Yeah, that's what he does. He wants to travel the world. And I just <laughs> want to prove that I'm the best. And even if you're good, I'm better. Your thing that you said, it's, it's maybe the thing you've said that- It's not lying with, though. Stuck with me the most. Yeah. We've talked about it before, is that you, you die twice thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That since you told me, I remember where we were, we were in the, on the second ghost hunt, we were all round the table. It was just before one of you farted. It was classy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was having a moment. Uh, that thing has stuck with me since then. And that's kind of what I've now geared my head towards. Legacy. Yeah. Yeah. That is a big thing for me. Yeah. That's why like, I'm not just sort of content with what we've already done. And like, I know people have enjoyed the couple of stand-up specials I've, I've put out, but I don't think in a hundred years, anyone's going to watch any of the stand-up specials I've already put out. I want one that they will. Legacy is important to me. I don't want to die in like- That second death though, you could just kill 12 people and you'd probably be remembered for And if I don't well. produce a good enough stand-up special, I will. Ah, oh, right, okay, Do you want good. infamy though? It's different, isn't it? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it is, but, but what we're talking not about- We're just talking about dying twice. If you do something horrific, your name will be remembered. Hitler will never die. 
Yeah, it does sound bad just standing on its own. Like, <laughs> like it, if you just but he won't that out. No? Based on that, Hitler will never be dead. Literally, he, like, literally Crazy never. Immortal, isn't he? No, yeah. until they go, remember him? Fucking hell. Yeah. But then it's about how you want to get that second death in it, because his is from being one of the most evil people that's ever existed. Yeah, but he's dead and he's just, he's not, like, he's, he's still living now, isn't he? He's not asked. Yeah. No, that's the point, isn't it? Then yeah. it, it's, how do you want that second death to go? Get him there, Um, Genuinely fucking around and having a laugh with people is Here's a question for you. so important. If there's a heaven, right? Are we doing this again? Is no. this what happens? <laughs> this is what happens when we record too close. We started like doing bigger picture stuff. Here's, here's my question. Right, there's a heaven. You get to the pearly gates. St. Peter's like, oh, fucking hell, Dan. You fucked up a bit of your lad, haven't you? That's a lot of fucking beak for one man. <laughs> Are you sorry for everyone you wronged? What with what? With everything. Beak. Like every time you lied to someone, every time you cheated on someone, every time you uh, stole something from a self-service checkout, like a carrier bag. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Go on, go in, lad. You, would, you didn't do too bad. You get in, Hitler's just there having a coffee. I'll be like, all right, cool. Like, would you be pissed <laughs> off? Right at the gates. He's that, he's that brazen. He's not got his own little <laughs> bit of heaven where he can hide away and be like, I probably shouldn't be here, so I'll keep it quiet. No, he's, he's like, he, he wants entrance. to wind people up on the way in. He sat outside a cafe Nero with a fucking mochaccino, just like. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to speak to HR or something. I think there's going to be an initial, can I speak to complaints? Because I'm pretty sure sh he shouldn't be here. He said sorry, just on the way in. <laughs> Isn't hell, uh, heaven going to be full of gimps though? Heaven's going to be full, like Biggie says it. He doesn't want to go to hell because it's full of mings. He wants to go to hell with all the fun people are. Like Jimi Hendrix is Yeah, but then it's not, it's not a fucking sixth form social, like social room, is it? It's, it's torture for each individual. That's what hell's meant to be. It's not meant to be like- I don't believe oh, that though. You'd just be right, in the but, sea. But you oh, just said- fuck. You what? He'd just be in the sea for eternity. You'd be constantly being eaten by sharks. Fucking hell, mate. Amen and all that gear. Yeah. Peace be with you, fella. We've only got God's side of the story, haven't we? For all we know, Satan's chill. He's just sound. Had a fallout with God. God wrote a book. Satan was like, I'm not even replying. Not even giving that the time of day. Yeah. <laughs> and you can have Hitler. I don't want him. Bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a gimp. Have him. Have him up there. I think some of my, our, our locals are going to be pretty pissed off. Couldn't give a fuck. I'm chill. Well, Christians believe that the devil works like in a really vindictive and sneaky way. How do we know that the devil isn't actually the writer of the Bible? And why is he punishing bad people if he's a naughty man? Surely he'd be like, yes, Hitler, my man. Boxed it there, lad. Yeah, here's a cafe Nero for you, fella. Why is he punishing bad people? Oh, so you think God controls who goes to heaven and hell? And then when they get to hell, hell the, the devil's like, do you know what? I don't know what we're all doing down here. But let's get a jukebox on. Let's get some. But the American devil doesn't work film. for God. They're notoriously at odds with each other. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Satan and God are not friends. So why is Satan going? Yeah, God sent them down here. I'll bum them. He's not doing that, is he? Like he'd be like, yeah, come down here, join the party. Right. Get, you, you know, we've got a picture. You put your head in on the door. Put your fucking get your little picture on there. There you go. <laughs> Pot world. <laughs> <laughs> Hell will be sick. All the cool kids are there. The I, devil... I don't understand the logic of, oh, God had this fucking kid in heaven who was being a bit of a cunt, so God was like, fuck off. You can have your own little kingdom down there, you cunt. He sends him down, and then he's like, by the way, you still work for me, you. Even though I've banished you to hell. Here's all the bad people fucking put pineapples up their dick and that. <laughs> I just don't see it. I don't believe you it. You don't see it? I just don't believe Get it. Get a list of the I 10. I mean, a lot of this makes sense, but this bit, just something fishy about it. Get a list of the 10 biggest celebrity deaths this decade, and let's see if they've gone to hell or heaven. <laughs> Are we doing that? Are we, no. Do you want, do you want me to overrule that? I think no, no, don't overrule it. Let's, because we've just, in, in a recent episode, we've done heaven and hell, pre, like literally last week. I just don't believe God's word. Right, we're doing on, on this. We're doing last. Fallout. We're doing None last of it's year. real, is okay. it? So that's. So this is this is from 2022. Ray Liotta. Ooh, he's in heaven. He was a good boy. <laughs> he's I bet he's bad. I bet he's done some fucking. My man's naughty things. He's in it's hell. Like sniffing lemon does not get you in hell. By the way, get you, in you better open up. Huh? <laughs> fuck. Um, hell. I think Ray Liotta okay. might have a little this bit. This one, I think, is a guaranteed heaven. Angela Lansbury. Mate. I reckon she was a fucking... 
bitch on the side, you know. Do you reckon? In what way? Yeah. Murder she wrote. Murder she did more like. <laughs> He's got me. Angela Lansbury's in hell. Like. Yeah. Hell? Hitler is in heaven. <laughs> Angela Lansbury. She's down there. I didn't say Hitler's in heaven. I said, what would you do if you got there? And he was just there. No, you did, didn't you? I was just making a joke. Well, that was an admin error and I am here. And I'm not, I'm refusing to live. Absolutely don't want to go there. I'm hoofed and I'm hoofed in here. Admin. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia Newton-John. Olivia Newton-John. Yeah. Heaven. She heaven. She's an angel. Yeah. <laughs> His name's Dan, by the way. Olivia Newton. Where's she? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get that whole little while. <laughs> Might be the worst joke ever. <laughs> That's terrible. Do you Come get on, it? Olivia Newton Dan. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> She's an angel. She's in heaven. Yeah. This is my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's my life. This well, is part of my two th- more. What I in life. Yeah. Robbie Coltrane. Careful. What? <laughs> you asked me to do this. He's in heaven. Hagrid is in heaven. Hagrid is. Robbie Coltrane isn't. Come, and then the last one we're gonna go for June Brown. Who's that? Dot Cotton. Dot Cotton. Oh, she's a, she was a Tory. She's in hell. Hell, she's wrong. <laughs> All Tories go to hell. Fact. A biff of smoking gobshite. <laughs> so that's Dot Cotton and Angela Lansbury <laughs> in hell, and that's where Carl wants to go because it sounds like a right laugh. <laughs> Oh yeah, the devil's like, fucking hell, I don't know, I don't work for the cunt, let's have a party. There's Angela Lansbury, there's Doc Cotton, don't know where Hitler is, he fucked off a few years ago, he's not been back, said he had loads of admin to do. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a right party, don't It's capital I? H for heaven, lowercase h for hell, and they've accidentally put him on the capital H, he's mm. boxed it. Oh nice. <sighs> let's have a break. <laughs> Hello, it's me and Finn again. It's time to tell you about my absolute favourite festival. Uh, yes. What is it, Finn? It's called Cosmic Cape. It's in Capenhurst, which is quite near you, isn't it? It's about three miles from me. Amazing. I, co- I can't wait to be there. Yes. I have to cancel my plans in Sheffield that weekend, but never mind that. Saturday, the 5th of August, there is a festival in Capenhurst, family friendly, and we have got an exclusive offer just for you. If you go to their website, buy tickets, passworded tickets, and use the code WORD15, you'll get 15% off. I'm on. Sorry. Uh, yes, site wide. I'm on. The real finger on. You know, you to me are everything. Yeah, the sweetest song they're on. I can Craig Charles from Red Dwarf. He's on. He's doing a DJ set and oh, it's just going to be. And the Blue Dolphin Wranglers. Everyone's favorite. Yes. The Blue Dolphin Wranglers. It's going to be a class day. So if you fancy coming down on your own or with your mates or with your kids, up to you. There's lots to do there for children. I think this is what happens when Adam isn't here for the adverts. Finn gets to sneak in his own adverts, uh, but enjoy. Cosmic Cape. Yes. Code word 15. In Enjoy. my house. Guess who's back? Back again. Have a word. Have we got some prep, Finn? We do. We've got uh, a couple of questions to start us off. So this one's from Gaz. He says, Hi, Lids. If you had to franchise out the pod to another country like The Office, what country would you pick and which comics or celebrities would you choose to host the pod for a foreign audience? They don't... They don't have to be from that country, so feel free to send Steve Shanyaski to Burkina Faso. Uh, I'm going Senegal. Nice. And I'm going Kat Daly. And... Are you Kat Daly? No, I'm Adam Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> In this scenario, Adam. <laughs> I'm never going to be Kat Daly. No matter how much I want it. Okay, does Kat Daly play your role? Sure. There you go. Uh, and Colleen Nolan. <laughs> So you're going for a female reboot yeah, of Have a Word. In Senegal. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be shot in days. <laughs> Dan? Imagine if Kat Daly actually agreed to that. That's when you know your career's <laughs> fucked, isn't it? In a podcast reboot in Senegal. <laughs> <laughs> Things are looking bad for Saturday morning TV, Kat. I don't think it's happening again for you, mate. I just realised I've got a new dream for us. I want us to do arenas in Africa. Okay. What's that, stopping us breaking into the African market, though? I think that's my biggest fear. You've just unlocked it. <laughs> <laughs> What's stopping us doing arenas in Africa? Like, it's global, and African it? people. Um, ter- talking about Cardinal Heenan too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Lads in Senegal going, oh my God, I cannot believe. He went to school with, like, Demo. Who is Demo? He's crazy. No, oh, God, Demo. No, there's no more Demo. Oh my God, you can't even remember the names of people you don't give a fuck about. Proper wall name, though. Oh, in shit. his wall name. Right. Well, Demo. We need to think about 
We need to think about more African content to really break Senegal. Come on. So that's that's on, on you Sunday now. With Damo. That's on you, me. You got, yeah, more African prep. Think about it. Adam, it's his Adam's dream and he's not going to do the admin. <laughs> so you get us to Africa, Finn. Okay. Come on. Okay. We can go to, we were kind of in Africa last week and we did a podcast there. Well, we legally weren't, which is why we were there. If you had to pick your American <laughs> counterpart, who, who would you say is, would fit the roles most similarly? Richard I'm Pryor. Not, I'm not aware. <laughs> Of, Teddy Cruz. Uh, like as many American comics as you. Who would you say you're most similar to American wise? He's quite like Ali Wong. Yeah. A lot of people criticise my uh, <laughs> my last special smasher for being too much like Ali Wong. Hey, she's great though. Baby Cobra. She's fucking great. It's funny because she talked a lot about how she wanted to fuck a load of other guys. And she's like, ah, oh, your husband... You want to just fuck people, don't you? And then six months later, guess who's divorced? It's Ali Wong. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you reckon you've seen that bit and going secure? What's the Netflix show? Huh? Yeah. What's the Netflix show we've seen, Dan? What's it called? I forgot the name of it. Brooklyn nine -Nine. No, <laughs> Beef. Oh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Beef, yeah. She's fucking fired in that. She's a great stand-up. Um, but yeah, it was funny because a lot of her things were like, Oh, Ali like to get fucked. And it just, it's a recurring theme of like, yeah, I've just got to fuck this guy. But you're not going to get fucked. Have you finished that show yet? Oh, she gets fucked in that. I, spoilers. <laughs> and it's not about food prep. And it's a good, spoilers. Fuck. It's a good fuck scene as well. Is it? Yeah. She's tiny. She's like four foot ten. It's a good fuck scene. It's the dream. Is it? Yeah. Saw something on the the other day. What's your dreams, Adam? Uh, to break Africa and to fuck small, small women <laughs> at the same time. I saw something on Twitter. It's like, a, I can't remember all of it. It was like a man's dream woman was like five foot, <laughs> size three feet. Um, can't remember what she dresses like. Top is see through. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've nailed that. What are you looking for in a woman? A see through top? That's where I start. Small feet, cheaper shoes. What would you say is your dream woman, Finn? Uh, we oh, saw her on the oh, beach. This could take a fucking no, while. She was on the beach the other day. Yeah, she was. Fucking hell, he fell in love. Oh, that Spanish one. And she yeah. got a She was a lesbian, definitely. Was she? Yeah, they were gay. That's a shame. Well, they were Spanish. Tanned, I mean, tanned brown hair. He likes Latin ladies. Yeah. It doesn't have to be Latin. They could be just... I like a bit of foreign. You, you just know? have to speak Latin. I'm a bit of foreign, so... Gotta to, got to keep up. You like a bit of foreign? Yeah. You don't want any of those whites? Uh, I'm not against it. You don't want those white out with their white old pussies? White not, is foreign to you? Not if they though? talk like that. I don't want them. White is foreign to you? White is foreign to me, yeah. What, what, what's your favourite colour of vagina? Oh my. You know the lips? Love. Do you like like a really, like a pink one? Or do you like it when it's like bulbous and black? <laughs> do people, Pokemon. Do people like the bulbous? <laughs> You never seen Black like the really punch. dark looking pussies? Yeah. <laughs> this clip's not going on TikTok. I know that. I'll just go for the standard. And I don't mean on a black person. That's not what I'm talking oh. about. I'm talking about like when it's on like a uh, like an Asian lady or a white girl, and it's just a bit fucking looks battered. Like, it looks like mutton. Yeah, yeah. Just it doesn't look. Stunt. It's not. I don't know what color it is because it's not black and it's not brown. It's like lamb. Purple. It looks like overdone lamb. Like your steak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Do you like these, Finn? <laughs> yeah, I love them. That's what I want. I want to. I want it to look like a steak, a well done steak, a well done one, yeah. brown, yeah, like yeah. rubber, yeah. see through top, small, <laughs> small feet, and mutton like vagina. <laughs> I like a medium rare pussy ring. Pink. Yeah. Pink and brown. Pink. It's not. It's pink and brown, isn't it? It's not oh, all pink. I just like the middle of it. Cut the edges off. Ah, oh, right. Oh, don't salmon. Think. Salmon but, pussy. By the way, <laughs> Senegal's loving this chat, by the way. <laughs> right back in. Who the fuck is Demo? You would never have a scouser called Demo. It's so wool. But I love the lambis pussy chat. <laughs> it was top fire. We should watch these in an arena. Top fire. If only we had arenas. Do you have, Do you have arenas? What's your idea of Africa? Like the seven You're just Getty. picturing the Lion King again, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> we'll play that rock. <laughs> Neat lifting Adam. <laughs> What's the most... Um, Africa's very developed now. The city is fucking everywhere. What's you the most developed? Yeah, there's loads. Educate of, yourself. Yeah, yeah. What's the most developed country in Africa? South Africa. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. Yeah, it's not wrong. But every country <laughs> in Africa has got like... Indoor stadiums, 20,000. 
Yeah. yeah, they've yeah. all got big arenas and stuff. There's loads yeah, of African that, I mean, yeah, yeah, and there's some of the poorest countries in the world. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do Google arena tour. Huh? See you there. What is it? Uh, most developed country in Africa, not South Africa. Um, uh, Egypt. You, you would use a Mauritius. Boolean operator. You would use a Boolean operator on Google for that. <clears throat> right, got a couple of underrated, overrated. Hit the jingle. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still in my. It's yellow. Fucking with the new. Sorry. Uh, oh shit, they've not seen that on the public. The pubes are like, what just happened? Yeah, oh yeah. You yeah. put Dan's got funky Absolutely buttons. nailed that. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there we go. We got there. So How many buttons. Remember? Yellow. Shut up. <laughs> I see yellow and I think country music. Oh, check this. And Saturdays. So the first one. <laughs> He's right. The first one and is piss. from Philip and he says, Mackie Saul. Who is the president of Senegal? So underrated or overrated? No, hang on. <laughs> did is that true? Have you just thrown that one in I there? Did just oh, you there. Just, look at him, Philip. Philip. This is from <laughs> Philip. I read one of the other ones. Philip. See, I think he went to school with them at Cardinal Heenan. <laughs> oh, what? There's no Phillips with a fucking nerd. Uh, we had Philo. Funnily enough, Philo, which isn't wool. Yeah. Did you? You actually know Philo. You know Philo. Yeah. You've met Philo. Phil O. Phil. Yeah. No, no, not like Sandra. Oh, oh Philo. Like Jackie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm welcome to there. <laughs> Steve-O. What? <laughs> Where's phil -O? I'm not telling you. You'll figure it out. Go on. You won't. He's a comedian. Well, he was a comedian. Yeah. Go on. Okay, this one is from George Bayliss. Fish finger sandwiches. I think they're unreal for an easy meal. Underrated. Because I forget they exist. Yeah, I don't know. But then when I enough. remember them, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Get in my fucking gob, you. Correct. I don't have them at all, but when I do the boss. Yeah. <laughs> tomato sauce, oh. salt and pepper, oh. loads of butter. <laughs> Dan, yeah. you'd love a fish finger. I, yeah, I'd love it without the fish fingers. I'd love it. I'd love a butter <laughs> with loads of butter. You'd right. actually really like it. Oh, I'd love it. It's brown. You ever mm. had a fish finger? That white, white meat. <laughs> um, but when I thought it was a chicken nugget, I ate it by mistake. When I, was, when I wasn't vegetarian. <laughs> it tasted awful. <laughs> it's the least <laughs> offensive <laughs> kind of fish. Yeah. yeah, awful. It no tastes one, more like chicken than fish. No one's ever described a fish finger as awful ever. It's yeah, just... it's fishy. <laughs> it isn't though. It's that white fish. It's like a chicken, which is like thinner meat. Like... No, but it's fishy. Kind of. Your behavior is fishy. Ooh, <laughs> get up from that one. <laughs> I'll struggle. Right. Uh, this is from Johnny Allen or Joni Allen. Uh, sex or sexual acts in slightly left field but standard places. Think car, shower, mile high. Teenager in a totally bush. Totally and what? utterly overrated. Oh, I'm with Ro on this one. Overrated. Like, the idea of it is great, but just fuck me in a bed, will you? No, I like a little bit. Of, I like it. It adds to it for me. It doesn't, though. No, not for you. For me. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't for you. It doesn't. He knows. No, for it, me, it does. I it like doesn't. it. Go on, where's your, uh, where's your uh, favourite away days? I haven't got a favourite, but I'm no. saying a little bit like... Uh, You're telling me you've been in bed before, getting sucked off and thought, oh, I wish said, I had a stick up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I have thought about, yeah? By the way, if you started fucking in the bed and gone, do you know what, we should do this in a park. You're an animal. You don't move, do you? But, if, if you know, if you're in a place that's a little bit like you shouldn't be there, it adds to it. It just does. The only yeah, time... No, I, I do know what you mean, The actually. only time I've ever moved... <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, no, actually, I do. Well. The only time I've ever moved from a bed when the bed's being way too noisy. I like when the bed's being noisy, me. Yeah, but there's other like factors in there. Nope. I kind of like that. Well, if you, if you're in a house and there's kids asleep, your kids, by the way, stop <laughs> fucking in a noisy bed. Oh my god, we should stop fucking in this orphanage. Um, you've got to move to the bed. You've got to move from the bed to the floor. No, because your knees can't do it. There's no give. Oh, oh yeah. fuck oh, on the floor is awful. Oh, That's how I snapped me banjo. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How did you get out of the bed? Dick first. Well, no, we moved from... I've told you this story before. <laughs> no, moved from the bed to the, the floor. banjo in bed. <laughs> right, we need to get off this bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we moved with me still docked. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, well, there's the problem, isn't it? You've yeah. got to undock. Mm. D-dock. D-dock. Slap <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> It's because you sat on the floor, Adam. One of these strings has gone. Uh, uh, but yeah, somewhere different from the bed is, it just, it gets me gone. Oh, I think you, it's overrated though. It is. The shower's overrated. Yeah, because it's... Water is yeah, not a lubricant. 
told you this many times. Oh my God, how scared of water are you? <laughs> Open bodies, you know, as a lubricant, just be very careful of water. It isn't a lubricant. This is from Ross Thorne. Dressing gowns, overrated to fuck. Careful. I've got four. <laughs> Why? In different rooms for different reasons. Kimono Carl. Oh, what, 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 one by one, room by room, reason by reason. Bathroom, a toweled one. Uh huh. Right. So you get out and it dries you. I've got two in the dressing room because Serica will use one. And if she's using mine, it'll piss me off. So I've always got a spare. And I've got one in the bedroom. All I wear in the house is either nothing or dressing gowns. That's it. Floral. Yeah. <laughs> Three of <laughs> I love a dressing gown, mate. Unbelievable house coat for all you fucking bootle goths. If, we, if you wake up and you need to go downstairs, <laughs> what you've either got to get dressed or just yeah. You're dressing a dressing gowns. gown guy, aren't you? Yeah, um, yes. I didn't used to be, but I've, it's totally won me over. Uh, they make me too warm. I need I need a thin one, I think. Yeah, you can get. I've got a thin one for winter. I've got a towel summer. one from Carden Park. Thin one, yeah, and it's great. too thick. Go yeah, well, that's the, the one that he's talking about for out of the uh, bath in your mm. shower. But I don't think they dry you enough. No, I tell. No, they don't dry you, but it's just, it's just more absorbent than a... Do you know what I mean, though? No. Yeah. Like, they don't dry you like a towel does. No. I still have, I dry and then put it on. I don't get in soaking. But yeah, I've got them all over the house, mate. Those, morn <laughs> those mornings, though, when you get up and you put a dressing gown on, especially if you're a bit hungover, they are good initially, but then you just by, by 10, 11 o'clock, you're like... Bleh. Get one with a hood. With a hooded one. I'd never get out of it. I love them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a dressing gown I've just guy. done it for that. I, I don't Thin? wear pyjamas. Yeah, I like a dressing gown. How's, uh, what's the state of yours like? Because I'm lining up Christmas presents. I've got one. Is it nice? It's navy. Is it old? No, it's like two years old. Could it do with an upgrade by Christmas? I'd like a really thin one, but I've got my eye on one. It's oh. 1,100 quid. <laughs> cool. Well, then you probably get that for yourself. Uh, Dan, I used to have a slightly Chewbacca over one. Oh, no, of course oh, it is. When I was like 11, I had a Chewbacca one. That was that was uh, thrown out dangerously too late. Oh really? Yeah. Um, Dan, don't get me one because Mum gets me one every Christmas. It's one of the staple gifts. She yeah. gets me new dress. Don't get me one unless you're going to spend big. Yeah. She also gets me one. I'll, nice I'll take dress. a dressing gown. Be oh, a, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Oh lovely. Marks okay. and Sparks. Good quality. Sure. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're great yeah, from yeah. pajamas. Oh yeah. Right. This next one is from John Obi Mikel. Uh, oh, a listener. Fully prepared. See, to be we're breaking into <laughs> Africa. <laughs> That's how you start. <laughs> you Defensive midfielder, John Obi Mikel. Wasn't he Norwegian? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was, yeah. Norwegian in uh, South Africa. Africa. Oh. He's Nigerian. No. He? Is he? Nigerian. He came from Norway. Some, he came right, from that's Norway. That's the song. That's the song. <laughs> he came from Norway. <laughs> but he's Nigerian. John Obi Mikel. It's a good song, There's that. something in my head. It's Chelsea. That's their best song ever. <laughs> You're thinking about Gunnar Solskjaer. Am I thinking about John Anarisa? Yeah. Dan, you are correct. No one. He came from Lynn 1896 Football Club. Oh, yes. But he is Nigerian. He, he is Nigerian. So you're both right. Well done, everybody. Uh, so I'm he, more of a rugby league man. Johnny McKell says, fully prepared to be called a paedophile, but I'm willing to die on this hill. Taking a cold drink into the shower. Who drinks in the shower? Right. Can I say that doesn't oh, ring course. true to me, but if you have a bath sometimes... Bath. And you've got a, a cold drink. Yeah, of course. That's different. Right, okay, a bath cool. is yeah. a different thing. Yeah, because in the bath, you're not having a bit of your Pepsi and then going, what? I just dipped that in the water. <laughs> it's in the shower. <laughs> and the shower's getting in your drink, isn't it? How, also, how This fella long needs to get in the shower and blow his head off with a double barreled shotgun. The weird cunt. Easy hey. for clean up. <laughs> how long is he in the shower that he needs a refreshing <laughs> beverage halfway through? Like, Bloody hell, I've been here two hours. <laughs> I'm dehydrated. And I can't drink this. This is for washing. You don't drink the shower I, water. I think it's disgusting. I don't, I don't think it's disgusting. I think he's a fucking dickhead. Drinking in the bath is needed because you dehydrate. You need a bottle drinking of water. Drinking the bath, in the bath is great. That's required. Yeah. yeah. The shower. I don't know. <laughs> can of Pepsi in the bath. Oh, a can of Pepsi anyway. I mean. That specific has to be Pepsi. Yeah. I associate baths with Pepsi. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Insane. Need a Pepsi challenge, but only in the bath. <laughs> right, Fucking last boy. one from What's the Pepsi Daniel. Tasting Coke and Pepsi. Oh, I could. By the way, you could go and get them in the interval. 
I'll do it when Tom Stader's sat there. I easily will pass that. It's the easiest. If you can't I know, win I know. the could pe- you could, could you do, do full fat? Yeah, could you do Coke, Pepsi, Pepsi Max, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Pepsi Diet? Could right. you do the full gamut? Get them and we'll film it and I'll put it on my socials. Okay, I couldn't do that. I could do full fat and not full fat because full fat tastes like sugar. Soup. I can taste the difference between Coke Zero and Diet Coke. 100%. It's, We're doing no, it in it's the close, break. but I bet Which you Which one's can do better? It. Oh, I prefer Diet Coke. People bum Coke Zero. I'm not a big fan. I've been converted to Coke Zero on our holiday. Yes. It's great. Steve drinks full fat Coke everywhere and it makes me dead scared. Yeah, because he's a skinny man, isn't he? No. He is. Yes. Oh, he's. Yeah. No, he's getting there, though. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> right, last Steve underrated and overrated. Just... This is from Daniel Smith. Uh, Christmas telly. I feel like it used to be great with decent specials, but I've either just gotten older or the quality has regressed massively to now just being the same two shows called The Midwife, Mrs. Brown's Boys every year. Thoughts? Both. It's both. It's growing up and it getting shit. Yeah, it's it's telly, isn't it? Telly's not as good. There's other options. You've got shitloads you want to watch. Have you got a Christmas in your head where the telly was at its peak? Yeah, Max Brannan. What? Max so Brannan. Like 2007. Max Brannan that? in the living room. And uh, he's yes. been shagging Stacey. Yeah. And it's like a video on the telly of the wedding day. Um, and the shagging before East the Enders. wedding. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, is yeah. go to oh, Christmas telly. Yeah. Yeah. Max Brennan. I associate Christmas with more with the films that are on than the TV specials. I've never been like someone who watches TV as it's being broadcast. I've always been someone who catches up. So like Shrek on Boxing Day is great if I don't go out. First Harry one. Potter in the build up to Christmas. Yes. Necessary. Yeah, something very Christmassy. Christmas morning. Die Hard. First one. I always watch Die Hard so around is, Christmas. Is the Chris, is the film you associate with Christmas that's not Christmassy Harry Potter then? But it is Christmassy. I don't know why, but it is. The first one is because there's a Christmas bit in it. But it's all Christmassy. I there's, think it's because I think it's just because we're late. Harry Potter's never on and it doesn't make me think about Christmas. It's like Pepsi and Baths. I don't think there is a Christmas <laughs> bit in it, is there? In the first bit. In yeah. the first one. Is I, it just, is I, it you've I, got I've got presents. I was oh, dragging right, the tree through the Thingy right, and, yeah, of course. You got, you got a sweater. I know it's very wintry. Yeah, it's Christmas morning. He gets a present. Gets Christians hate Harry, Harry Potter. Harry. That's an invisibility cloud. They're really rare. Oh, There's course. only rare. one of them. Because J.K. Rowling didn't. Like Christians it. hate Harry Potter, don't they? Because it's witchcraft. Yeah. If you're a strict, uh, from a strict church, you and it's seen as witchcraft. It's not it's real, like, though, is it? What the other film? Can they not watch it? No, any but it's film? a story of witchcraft, and it goes against the teachings of. And Jesus Christ. It's boring, isn't it? If yeah. you're a proper Christian, can you not watch anything that's against the Bible? Can you not watch, like, fucking Saving Private Ryan because everyone's shooting each other? That's not in the Bible, what is it? can you watch? No, it's not in the Bible. Yeah, the D-Day landing's not in the Bible. <laughs> you're right. Or is it Dunkirk? No, it's D-Day. What is it? Saving Private Ryan. I can't remember. What it's can you Anthony. watch, though? The fellow takes his ass off, gets his head blown off, remember? It's a Christmas bit, isn't it? That's what we watch on Christmas. Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> All around. Um, no, it's just certain things like set off the church, don't they? I mean, we're talking, you have to be a, in a pretty like Jehovah's level strict fucking church. Who was he? Who was he? So stupid. Hello, I'm the Jehovah's man. I'm Oliver Warburton's guy. <laughs> Um, I think Christmas telly's gone shit because everyone's watching Netflix, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Right. Bit of advice. What are you? Yeah, advice. I'll do the advice button. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Sing over it with your deep voice. Oh, advice yeah. is green. Sing over it. Here to help. I'll solve your problems. I'll tell you the best thing to do. If you, you want to do it, you'll be fine. fine. If you don't, you will not do time. Agony, yeah. New buttons. <laughs> <laughs> These are going mad in Africa. <laughs> All right, Senegal. What's happening? That's an hey, my name's Damo. I'm a wolf. Go on. <laughs> this is from Craig. Uh, All right, lads, looking for a bit of advice. I was leaving your Birmingham show and almost got lost trying to get back. Ended up bumping into this lad and I asked him for directions. Seemed nice enough. He helped me get where I was going. Chatting as you would, and we ended up getting along so so well that we swapped numbers and of. actually seemed to be becoming mates. But he's just started sending me Bible quotes and spouting off about how he thinks it's wrong they're teaching 
LGBTQ uh, plus in schools. How do I deal with this? It's now clear we're completely different people. Do I block him or call him out on it? Only been speaking since May. Nice one. Keep changing the game. <laughs> Last month. <laughs> oh my God. He's dating someone then, isn't he? Oh my God. Oh. oh. What do you think, Tom? I've just met a guy and he's <laughs> turned out to be a fucking gimp. Uh, lesson learned. Don't swap numbers with people where you get lost in the middle of Birmingham <laughs> and become bezos with them. Um, I mean, he is not your problem, Lid. He's not your pro. Just fuck him off. No, you should be sending them LGBTQ plus articles to read daily. Educate them. Yeah. Share videos of like drag, you're, you're drag all queens all in you're primary schools. You're complicit. If you're letting this man go on, you're complicit. Educate them. <laughs> Silence is violence. Correct. Oh my God, then I'm such a violent, violent man. <laughs> Particularly on Twitter. I couldn't give a fuck about some random that helped me get home. Just be like, oh, what a knobhead. Oh, gone. Gone. What, what if it was Gordon Brown? What if it was Gordon Brown? Mm -hmm. Who helped me get home because I got lost in Birmingham City Centre? Yeah. And then started sending me like aggressive stuff about... Or Robert Kilroy. Selk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that it's not? Yeah, that would be more confusing. That would be a different layer to it. I can't. I haven't got time for like so genuinely. I, I, name, don't I? Yeah, I don't so, know why I know that. It's so unnecessary. I'm a killer with silk. <laughs> I honestly, if my my mates start going weird on me, I fuck them off as well. I don't even like. I've got such a short. That's why I keep time. a lot of my opinions to myself because I know you wouldn't like them. <laughs> yeah. And then the podcast will be over, and I need it, so. Yeah. Do you, you know, what, know what I want to know about uh, people who come from certain places? <laughs> Robert Kilroy Silk. Just couldn't give a fuck. No. No? Am, you, I, am I wrong? Yeah. Like, I, I remember being on a night out and in Manchester. Danish people stink. Oh, whoa. Bacon. Um, and there was some Cakes. fucking, like, one of our mates was, like, having a drunken debate with, like, a young Tory. And they were like, I just can't believe you. They're like a fucking member of the Conservative Party. And I'm just like, what are you doing? And I was like, yeah, but we're on a night out and I don't know the little cunt. So it's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, but everyone's a stranger until you know them. Yeah, but if you're a young Conservative, <laughs> I don't need to get drunk with you and have a debate on. <laughs> yeah, like, why? Have you never met anybody in the wild? Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. But if they're in... An arsehole. And no, they, they weren't an arsehole. As he's asking, the problem is he wasn't an arsehole. No, but I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm saying that, yeah, in in the moment. But a month later, he's being a fucking gimp via text. Cool, it's not my problem. I'm, <laughs> I'm gone. As if you're arguing with, like, oh, you, you don't have to thin? feel responsible. Right. But, not, like, I can just detach from it and go, yeah, you're a gimp. I don't care. Right. Do you know what I mean? You debated gun control for about four hours with a man holding a gun in Nashville. Um, that's the, there's so many mistruths in that it's unbelievable. Um, so there was the ranchers in Tennessee were dead sound, mm -hmm. and I liked them as people. And then we started talking about gun control. No, I think he meant in the shop. In what? In the shop. We weren't debating it. We were just asking him. No, questions, I wasn't talking about no, the shop. I was talking about the ranch. Oh, was yeah. the guy he have a gun? <laughs> no. Gary's um, got a gun. But they that, all I, had guns. What? They all at the ranch. They all. Yeah, and I was asking bells. questions, and we were talking about it. But then I, I, I like them, and they weren't being. No, at one point they were lads. Shut up. Oh yeah, I forgot that bit when he threatened my <laughs> life with a gun. Oh yeah, no, but I don't mind that. That's interesting. That's in interesting. If some you meet some guy and you're like, oh, he seems quite sound, and within a month he's sending you anti-gay texts. I'm not going to go right. We're going to have to meet up again. And I'm going to have to educate this person. I couldn't give a shit. Delete it. No, don't meet them. Just send them a picture of you going, eh? Just keep sending them gay porn. <laughs> yeah, and trans he'll, porn. He'll block you eventually. Yeah. <laughs> you seen this? They're teaching this in schools. <laughs> That's my retort. Fighting. You sucking a dick. No. Oh, right. Sorry. A picture That's, of a man sucking a dick. That's when you're a big one as well. That's when you're really Two going under. against the violence is, silence is violence. I'll suck a dick and then text you it. Not even WhatsApp. I'll yeah, pay this fella sounds like he just, yeah. It, the thing is, right? The right thing to do is try and educate him. But who can be asked? <laughs> is that Martin Luther King? <laughs> <laughs> but that's it though, innit? <laughs> like, can you be asked trying to convince someone they're wrong? I, have you ever spoke to someone about anything they deeply care about that you're on the opposite side of a debate to and got to the end of it and had them go, 
I'm on your side now. <laughs> yeah. Has that ever happened? So what are we doing? Let's just let people be honorable and leave them over there and try and protect people from them. The guys in Tennessee gave me their guns and were like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> Take these guns. I've got seven at home as well. I'm going to have to send them to you. But you're right. Was that Gary? That was Gaz. No, of course, you're right. Because they're just, they're arguing their point, aren't they? But if I don't care for the person, it's not my fucking You were problem. in danger there. Me and Adam saw the danger. I don't think you remember that when it got a bit eggy, when Cowboy came over and was basically shouting at you. Because you, you were, were quite You drunk. were bladdered. Yeah. But Cowboy was shouting at you. Saying what? That, like, you don't understand, and if we got rid of them, only the bad guys have guns and stuff. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I remember, yeah, it was... It was a it was a discussion about guns. It's a different country. If you get rid of the guns, just the bad guys gonna have guns. And you yeah. were like, no, 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 no. No, I wasn't. I, no, I wasn't. That's not true. I wasn't going. No, no, no. You should get rid of your guns. I was talking about no. I, yeah, I get what you're saying, but it wasn't. I wasn't going. You're fucking idiots. You shouldn't have guns. That's no, what, that, that wasn't what I was saying. No, that isn't what you were saying. That's not what I've just said. You were saying. No. You called him an old senile cunt. You see, this is why it's so hard to have this discussion because everyone's like, yeah, I'm bored of the actual truth now. You uh, you tried to finger him and said, shoot me then, you've got a gun. And then, he, you know, you fingered him. It wasn't that. It was fine. It was an eggy debate for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I was worried for you. Yeah, because I, I think guns are fucking horrific. Yeah. Fun though. To shoot. Yeah, but to live like that, surrounded in the fear. You know what we were talking about? What's your biggest fear? To Americans, it's people coming in their home with a gun and murdering everyone. And that's because kind of a chance it'll happen. Yeah. They live in a state of fear. And I wasn't just trying to antagonize them, but I, I genuinely feel sorry for people in the States that that live like that. Because it's a, it's a fear that feeds fear. Like, shit, they've all got guns. We need loads of guns. Oh, fucking awful. I agree. Absolutely agree. Um. Go on, next one. Right, so this is from Anonymous. All right, lads, I'd like to stay anonymous, please. Long time listener, first time caller. I'll get straight into it. Like Adam, I grew up with an alcoholic mum, which always puts me off drinking, but I started drinking at uni and now I'm 24. I only ever drink when I'm going out out. However, I want to stop completely as I don't enjoy it, but I fear the FOMO and feel like I won't get invited to social events, etc. if I stop drinking. What advice have you got for me? You're right. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> get a gun. <laughs> Just shut up and have a pint, will ya? You fucking idiot. Yeah, but haven't you said before that you want to quit drinking before you have kids? You must have some of no, the I same said that. I think anxieties. I, I think <laughs> the idea of having kids, I think I would want to drink a lot less around them and maybe I've thought about it, but I have, I've not like, before I start trying for children, I'll, I'll quit drinking. So something about- I don't think I want them to see me drunk and I yeah. wouldn't drink in the house once I've got kids. Yeah. They'd only see me drunk at like a, a special occasion, like a wedding or something. Yeah, which is healthy, isn't it? I can't be around my kids pissing on window ledges, can I? Fact. <laughs> no. <laughs> is there something about having the alcoholic parents that's just, is it? Is there like a, if we're talking about fears, like he that kid's got alcoholism in his family and it's setting off an anxiety in him, like I don't want to it's end very, up like that. Like you can go one of, three ways if you've got an alcoholic parent you can be oh this is what it's like and you just drink like they did you can be people who are like oh i don't drink at all because me mum and dad drank and then there's the only other option is you drink and you try and keep an eye on it which is what i try and do but like i've got it in me to go fucking on a, a session for a few days but i'm quite good at going oh i won't drink for a week or two weeks yeah to prove that you don't no, have it's, to. it's not to prove it's just to give myself a rest from it yeah like, I don't need to prove it to myself because I know I can do it. It's just, I've been drinking too much. I need to not do it for a bit to reset myself. That's it. It's the thing where you go, if you don't know you can stop, then it's not about your mum being an alcoholic or whatever. It's about going, oh, I'm not in control. The reason I end, I've, I'm end, i probably not going to end, end up doing coke again is because there's something in it that stops me having that control, going, don't. Like, if you can go, no, I don't want to, tomorrow or the next day or for a week or whatever, if you know in your heart, if you need to stop, you can, then it, I don't think it's a massive issue. And it's when you go, I'm not in control that I think you need to start going, all right, well, what am I going to do about it? That guy's just worried about the future, isn't he? But it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I get the social anxiety of what am I going to do when all my mates are drinking and 
I'm not drinking. You need to be okay with going out sober when people are drunk, and that's very difficult because when people are drunk and you're sober, it's not always fun. Yeah, they have because... arguments with people with guns in Tennessee, yeah. <laughs> and it's a worry, and they finger them in the but arse. But it's it's just not. We're the wrong people to ask, really. Well, not really, because I, think... I do it. Yeah, I think I was going to say me and you are more likely to do that, aren't we? Yeah, but you you actually don't do what he's talking about. Because when you're not having a drink... Oh, I'll just go home. You just go home. You don't stay in the situation. It is Because it is difficult. Being sober and drunk people is essentially just impossible. Like in Tenerife, you didn't stay out any night. No. As soon as we were drinking, you knew you didn't want to. You were like, I'm going home. Yeah. The only reason you stay and out he doesn't want to do that. He wants to be able to do what you were doing, but then stay out. It's very, 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 it's almost impossible. Staying out till three in the morning is because of booze nearly all the time. You can go out for the early part of the night, food and drinks and everything, but that point where your mates get too pissed and you're sober, there's a tipping point when you're like, well, this isn't fun because you're not on their wavelength. Yeah. Get someone on your on your level who's happy to do the same maybe, but again, that's not very, you know, it's not very but likely. But you weren't, you weren't going to bed at like nine, were you? You were no, still, still coming out like midnight. But, like, but that's the tipping that. point, isn't it? No, where the night goes from like you decide oh, what you want to do with your night then. Yeah. And also that was a skewed time because we were going we were going for dinner at like yeah. eight and nine o'clock. Yeah. Like it's not like Carla being out since six. Yeah. I I, I just I wasn't in Tennessee for night out, so I don't give a fuck. The older going. you are, the easier this gets. When you're 19, 20 years old, it's all about what everyone's doing. You're part of the group. By the time you're Dante, age, everyone you may just want to have a scrabble night and some yeah. uh cofters. Just play drafts. That sounds unbelievable. That does sound good. Scabbling cough this one a night. What a special that's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a break. Fuck, I'm excited for today's guest. Hello everyone. Time to talk about Love Honey, my absolute favorite sponsor. Go to lovehoney.co.uk. It's the world's largest online sex toy and lingerie store. And uh they want us to plug amongst the many things they've given us and enjoyed. Uh, this one, this one we got Finn in for because it's called the Womanizer Wave. It's a shower yeah. head that you can masturbate with, Finn. Yeah, so does this just become your shower head? I think so. It looks like a powerful kind of thing. You can you can use it to, you know, uh, masturbate with, but also give the dog a good clean if you've been for a walk in the woods, you know? Oh, yeah, it's that yeah. kind of power we're talking what, about. What does it do? <laughs> what does it do? Yeah. Well, you replace your shitty old shower head, put on the wave, and then, my God, you can use it as a clitoral stimulus. Uh, it's got three sort of settings it's got powder rain and uh which is a fine mist spray uh pleasure whirl which is optimized for moving and surprising stimulation you're like what what, what? and then also pleasure jet and i think that you know speaks for itself yeah so uh treat yourself i mean this isn't just you don't have to screw it off and then replace the shower head every time this is just becomes your sneak and everyone's going to come in and go oh that's the really fancy shower head you've got but you know it's because your missus loves a big water wank so go to lovehoney.co.uk, use code WORD20 for what? 20% off site-wide. Site-wide. Get Mental. all them sexy things. Can have that. Take that back to Poirot Tits. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. You make sure you put the handsome filter on. <laughs> it's not, all right. It's not working. It must not be working. Tom stays by. How are you, Tommy? I'm always good, Adam. You know this. This is how <laughs> I live my life. This is what I do. I'm Tom. This is my role. I Let's can't not imagine... make it hard. I can't it's... imagine you in a bad mood. No. Uh, well, I'm never in a bad mood. I get, you know, I, I bury all my anger down deep inside. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm mentally unhealthy. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. Not, no, that's a bad word. I'm not mentally unhealthy. I'm mentally out of shape. <laughs> That's where I am. Like, if I was walking down brain. the road, I, you know, I don't look like I'm going to stab you. <laughs> but, you know. I like, don't know, yeah, you know, you do look. <laughs> you were telling us, uh, I, I told them not to expand on this because you were in the room and we went recording. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. are going to be a minister this weekend. I'm going to be a minister, yeah. I'm going to go and marry going to go marry Ailey and my good buddy Gareth. And I'm Gareth Much, another comma. Yeah, if I can pl plug the dudes, plug. They're, they're, <laughs> plug uh, so way. corporate. <laughs> can I plug something? And Ailey is <laughs> the daughter. 
is the daughter of Jojo Sutherland. Yes, another she comma. is, and I'm going to, yeah. And, it's uh, a very comedy wedding, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be fucking beautiful because I get to riff whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I'm going to tell them God's in the room. <laughs> I'm going to turn it into the most religious event they've ever seen. Are you going to play it straight? You're going to go really religious. <laughs> I have a job to do here. Yeah. Leviticus. <laughs> have you got a robe? Uh, no, I've got pink pants, I've got pink slacks, a really cool tuxedo shirt, and I've also got a fucking Afro wig, and I'm going to black up. It's for comedians, not, like, they get the intent. <laughs> Nobody has to, they, they love it, they love the idea. If and, I die first, will you dress exactly the same and do my funeral? <laughs> Oh, can we not just get Tom to do it? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, take, he's taking bookings. It'll be my second one, so I'll be better at it the second time. Have you never done anything like this before? I have never done anything like that before, Adam. No, I've, I'm sitting there. I'm going to tease. I'm going to tease these two. They got two. Uh, oh, they've got like two do questionary, questionable uh, best men dudes in there. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to slag. I'm pretty sure I'm going to slag uh, one of the audience members off. Audience? Audience. Yeah, yeah. That's how I even see it. It's not, it's not a gathering. It's an audience. It's about, it's about to be the greatest performance of my life, really. Are you going to tape it and put it out as a special? Of course I, I, I swear am. to God. Welcome, Tom Stay to TikTok. Here we fucking roll. Are you actually filming it, though? You've got to film we it. We have to. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure Gareth and uh, Ailey will, and then, you know, I'll, I'll fucking piggyback off of there. <laughs> fucking success. You Get know? some clips. Yeah, just just tag me in your weird me wedding fucking bullshit. So have you officially, have I you been ordained? Wedding, so, have you been huh? ordained? No, no, that's the, they've already been married. This is just a oh, pony right, fucking oh, right. show. You think I'm fucking <laughs> gonna go out and get my wedding license? <laughs> I haven't got the time. Carl's got a wedding license. I'm it took about 15 minutes on the internet. Are yeah. you fucking serious, I can man. marry you right now, Tom. Let's do it. Oh, Tom. hang on. <laughs> Before Tom... Finn? <laughs> Welcome to success. Before Tom leaves today, I'll can we get him all day? tonight. Yeah? <laughs> all day in him now? We're getting, huh? we're, so getting, we're, gonna we're gonna get you all day. We're gonna get you all day. Okay, now. I'll do it, man. Yeah. Let's let's do that before Friday, <laughs> <laughs> and so like it's a real thing. Except I'll divorce them that day. <laughs> <laughs> all powerful surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last time you joined us on an industrial estate in Runcorn. Yeah, that was here. hilarious. I always loved trying to find that. Even my Google Maps went, "Where the fuck? <laughs> this place doesn't exist." <laughs> Um, you brought the, the wife down last time. Trudy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no Trudy for, this time? No, I'm flying solo, man. Okay. When you guys when you guys gave me the fucking hotel room, I was and she was like she was like, fuck, I have a dentist appointment on Wednesday. I can't come. And I went, Aw, that's <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Get a break from me judging you twenty four hours a day. <laughs> Uh, hotel's nice. Never stayed in a hotel yeah, before. Yeah, it was cool as fuck, man. You yeah. know, it's better when you're like uh, on your own. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I like, I like fucking. Because you can shout wank. Yeah, you can do a fucking, like, she's got a thing about towels on the fucking floor. Yeah. This sounds like I'm going Like into she a likes bit. them on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an actual true thing. Yeah, yeah. Does she like them on the floor or no, not? No, she fucking hates them. So I do it on purpose, Adam, <laughs> because I'm my own man. <laughs> And no one is going to tell me what to do. It's called toxic masculinity. Oh, and I'm great. fucking, I got a lot of it, apparently, man. So. so my girlfriend a while back told me it drives her mad when I leave the lid off the toothpaste. Yeah, of course. Um, so now I'm very conscious of it. But what I, instead of putting it on the toothpaste, I've just started hiding it around the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I leave the toothpaste out, but I don't leave. I used to leave the lid next to it until she brought it up. Now I go, oh, it's been in the bath. It's been buried in the drawer with all the fucking toiletries and shit. It's been right at the bottom of the laundry. It's been everywhere but on the fucking toothpaste. Because you don't tell me what to do with a fucking toothpaste lid. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get whinged about, about where my toothbrush goes all the time. It's a constant. I'm like, I'm not the problem here. We've got a six-year-old who is trying to brush her teeth, 
pouring half the tube out and then just rubbing it in the basin. And I'm the one that's at fault. Like you didn't put your toothbrush exactly where I said it should be. You're like, it's a fucking minty mess everywhere else. I'm not the issue. What's Tom, just Tom, you ordained. <laughs> Welcome to stage to the oh, congregation what? of the Universal Life Church. <laughs> Easy as that. Look out, girl, today. <laughs> I'm coming. The Universal Life Church. Yeah. Oh, wow. You can legally officiate weddings across the US. <laughs> oh. There you go. Yeah. You can impress your friends, family, you better, and peers. You know what? I really want you to email me that. I will. Okay? You will? I'm yeah, on totally. I'm oh, taking yeah. that. That's, I'm gonna... that's our wedding gift. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thanks, man. To say that's the wedding gift from Have a Word <laughs> to Gareth and Ailey. Congratulations. <laughs> we all know it probably won't work. <laughs> and it's always good when you People get your credentials. These days don't it, like staying. It's together. amazing when you get your credentials and they're like, now you'll want to tweet about it. <laughs> <laughs> or put it on Pinterest, Facebook, or email. There oh you go. Oh my God. It's legal. Do you not like weddings? You, you said you don't, you're not a fan no, of weddings. I mean, no, this no. one's going to be a fun one. This one will not... be hilarious, but the reason is, is it's cost me money already, Dan. Like, I don't like, like, I've, fuck, I've forked out, like, about 900 pounds to go and see these two cunts. If, if you ask me, <laughs> like, fucking, hey, do you want to come to my wedding and I can show up in a nice jacket and some jeans and drink your beer? Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> but as soon as you, like, that money could be used for gambling. <laughs> Could have went to what's way it? better things. What's your gambling game? What's uh, your gamble? All of it, Adam. I, <laughs> you ever you ever see those uh, Instagram AI things that that tell seven successes of life? You ever seen those? Yeah. Just so I'm not talking. Yeah. Well, I I subscribe to those all the time, <laughs> and every time it goes five signs you have a weak mind. I'm like. <laughs> 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 we've just got back from like the weakest <laughs> we've just got back from Tenerife and I wanted to go and gamble but no one would come with me I wish you were in Tenerife with us which would have you done would you go cards like I go, like I like blackjack and I like roulette yeah okay I'll do blackjack with you man because that's awesome because yeah. I like fucking pissing them cunts off on the table <laughs> man 17 hit <laughs> 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 Watch some dude's life savings go down the drain. <laughs> that was my college money. <laughs> I've got like a pound on two squares. <laughs> I like roulette because it's fair. It's as fair as it can get. Yeah. yeah. As long as you trust the casino, which I do. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Why is it dodgy casinos? Yeah. Is it really? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, they can be like, what? Weighted balls, oh, etc. No. Magnetic balls. What? The Magnetic two. balls. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the famous gambling island of Tenerife, though. That's the, I'm sure they'll be fine there. Were they good? I didn't was go. It a, I know. Was it a good, is it a good casino? Where's the, where are the good casinos? Bart Vegas. Vegas. Obviously <laughs> Vegas. Obviously. <laughs> Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Yeah. Atlantic City and Carlisle. Those are my top three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking <laughs> Carlisle. What a town. <laughs> if, you, if you're giggling in Carlisle, town. you're already gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Just hookers and fucking gambling in the nightlife of Carlisle. <laughs> End up at a house party. Somewhere. The first gig I ever got booked to headline was in Carlisle. Yeah. Ever. I got 120 quid and I took my girlfriend and her friends up. Huh. And the hotel cost 60 quid. And that was the, and the good other one. 60 quid. We just went out. Old oh, memory lane. <laughs> Oh, There's a tear in Adam's eyes when he thinks of this. So <laughs> Can somebody get a tissue. <laughs> such a bad gig. That's how you know you're new in comedy. We're like, guys, there's a gig. Yes, it's two hours away, <laughs> but it's going to be worth it because you've heard of Carlisle. <laughs> and obviously we're going to the casino afterwards. You have to. My girlfriend got upset as well because we <laughs> were sharing a hotel room with their friends. And uh, I, I tried to have sex with her in the same room. And she was like, this is bad. They're over there. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I have a I've question. Uh, you can't color. skim by that. But I have a question on that. Yeah. Did you say my girlfriend and her friend? Friends. Friend. So f fucking her other friend friends. And her friend's boyfriend were in the uh, in, on the other side of the room in a bed. Okay. We were staying on like a blow up bed on the floor. Okay. It's time to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Everything about this says oh it's time to fuck. I Bitch, just, I just closed <laughs> Carlisle <laughs> and I have six pounds. Headlines on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, no. This is happening. She said no until they started to fuck. <laughs> fuck about a brother. It was a simultaneous fuck. <laughs> well, they started like fucking. <clears throat> so she was like, oh, well, if they're doing it, then we can. How big was this room? 60 quid in Carlisle gave you a big room. <laughs> That's it's the presidential no. suite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want the East Wing? <laughs> <laughs> Would your wife do that? What? Dad, like, what have sex with me? Yeah, Not just, really. just like that is. <laughs> she did it twice, oh, and that thing put fucking toothpaste everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what came out of her vagina was a toothpaste monster. No. Do you think it's weird? Yeah, like, no, no? no, what I'm saying, like, Dad, would, hmm. okay, so you and your, you go Damn. out on a couple's. <laughs> whatever and you're sharing a room uh, yeah would a married person hear them fucking and think well Agnes we should fuck too. Agnes <laughs> oh Aggie Aggie, Aggie. Um, oh Aggie genuinely I can't share a room That's, with my wife with everything I don't we sleep in separate rooms I'm not sharing with her and then some other cunts yeah, as well. yeah. Whoa, Trudy, 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 Trudy Trudy would be Trudy, Trudy one sec Trudy just one sec uh, Tom just one sec okay. one sec sorry when you go on holiday, do you and Laura sleep in separate bedrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get separate hotels. It's great. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. Yeah. I don't believe that them. marriage is going to work. <laughs> you share right. a room on holiday. I can speak. Oh, if we're on the same holiday. Well, yeah. It's a weird, <laughs> weird circumstance you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, we do share a room. You're right. Oh, oh yeah. You're sorry. Sorry. Do you get twin beds, though? You what? Do you get twin beds or do you share a bed on holiday? I mean, my preference is twin, I think, because she's a roller, you know? Yeah. She's a guffer and a roller. She's a guffer. Oh, the noises, she's the movement, she's she kicks. A roller. She's so it, hot. If she's guffing, doesn't that mean fanny farting? What? That's queefing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she's a queefer. A lot of things need clearing <laughs> up. Need whoa, 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 whoa. What's a guff? Um, <laughs> I didn't know, I know what a guff you, was either. You can, but I think it's a cultural thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're loud. I can hear them from the What's other guff? side of the <laughs> corridor. <laughs> No, she's just, she's a very, she's not an easy woman to, like to a share a bed with. No, no, I'm not. Me and her would kill each other. <laughs> like, if we swapped, uh, me and her would fucking fist fight it out in that oh. fucking bed for yeah, sure, Patreon man. Patreon special wife swap. Yeah, yeah. Just just for the sleeping part. You, Trude, Trude has to turn around. So whenever I wake up with her, it's always her feet are there. Oh, what? Because oh, really? she... Yeah, because she doesn't want to hear yeah. like my snoring from all my fucking uh, you know illegal activities throughout <laughs> the years that have destroyed my sinuses. <laughs> she doesn't like that. So she sleeps like top and tail. Like yeah, she'll turn around if if for whatever reason she can't sleep through the thunder. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, she'll just turn around. And I always wake up with her feet and then I'll just start sucking her toes. <laughs> this fucking, and then my yeah. boner will come. And yeah, Laura's gonna love it. this wife swap, by the way. <laughs> Stop saying Laura, your name's Agnes. <laughs> I role play. I love her. I want you to be a Scottish widower. <laughs> my God. I, I've started top and tailing, by the way. No. Come no, on. It's, it, in the heat, it's good as well. No, in the heat, yeah. no. I've seen your fucking toenails. You can't have no, them you know near like a woman's head. <laughs> I like to wedge no my feet so in between my mattress and my backboard. <laughs> in case it's an earthquake. You no, <laughs> just because I like it. You I want it. You're sleeping at sea. What? <laughs> <laughs> On your front? Yeah. Huh? So I'm like, I, I sleep like that. So like me, 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 t like, I either have to like spread my feet out or... Like his feet would naturally be pointing down. So I put them in the gap between the bed and the headboard. Why is that? It's comfy. <laughs> of all the fucked up things we've said. It's in the last 15 sleeping. minutes, everyone's like, don't know where to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's comfy. Makes me feel safe. Is another person in the bed with you? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Waking up to those toes. I heard that <laughs> and I bookmarked it so I could bring that back a little later <laughs> because nobody's sucking on Adam's toes. Man, I've got man. bad feet. I, I know. I know. <laughs> fucking so do I. Man, go off at like a. <laughs> yeah. Like a fucking. <laughs> like a penguin. Weirdo fucking shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, they, yeah, those are them. <laughs> yeah, there's they those, look fine. those actually oh, should be behind. Uh, yeah, that's how he celebrates V Day. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's doing that. <laughs> Adam just gets his feet up. What's the three nil? <laughs> two World Cups and one. Two World Wars and one World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> three nil, lad. He's had his feet on this desk so much over the years, hasn't he? Yeah. I honestly think with all those gross things, with your feet and all your manked, all of, you've just got to get on with it a little bit, haven't you? Yeah. Like I know, I, I take the piss out of Laura snoring and stuff, but it's you know. If, it, if I had to share the bed, I'd be fine. And when she's like, oh, that's gross, that's gross. <laughs> Ooh, you uh, got him. Yeah, but you I'm not fucking you, am I? <laughs> I'm allowed to be like, oh, God. <sighs> You've got to accept the gross. You do have to accept the gross. Oh, for yeah, sure, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, I've got tons of it. There's no way. Yeah, Laura's guffing. Yeah. I think it's funny. What's go? She's just in the bed going, blah, 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 yeah. 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 Actually, with Freddie Quinn, <laughs> <laughs> old Doberman ass. <laughs> uh, is she sleeping? Is she awake when she's making these noises? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes wakes herself up with a fart. Yeah, yeah. You windy. wake up to the fart. She's a windy woman. Wow. No, sometimes Laura farts and wakes herself up. You know, like a dog. Oh no way, man. <laughs> have I? I've met. Have I met Laura? I've met Laura. Have I met Laura yet? <laughs> I don't know, but call her Agnes when you do. I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's Agnes and the toothpaste kids. <laughs> I hear you're windy like a doberman. <laughs> yeah, I hear you She'll know. She'll know. She'll go, oh God, man, you and Dan, you've been talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Liverpool, one of your favourite places to gig. You must. Oh my God. You must enjoy it. Did you record? Your special weshy here? Of course I did, Dan. Fucking hangar thirty-four, fucking just down there somewhere. Chatting the balls over up. there. Did <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah. We did it. It was fucking called it live in Liverpool. That's how much I love this fucking place. <laughs> fuck it, I said. They said, where do you want it? And I in said, hang- fucking live in Liverpool. And are you gonna put it on YouTube? Fuck that <laughs> shit! Why, where is it? Where is it? It's on a, a paywall. <laughs> it's on <a> paywall. Because <laughs> everybody puts their specials out on YouTube now. Yeah. It's not even special anymore. Yeah. Every time I see it go, oh, it's another YouTube spe- it, it isn't, though, is it? <laughs> like, there's... You if put it a was camera the first in the glee. One, yeah. <laughs> so it's like... And then you got to, yeah, and then you're just out there competing and hopefully whatever, you you get however many likes and fuck that, man. Fucking, you know. Like, so you want to make some money? Fucking rights. And anybody who says any different is lying. Because <laughs> <laughs> even putting it on YouTube, you're trying to make money, right? From future ticket sales, yeah. For future ticket sales. Fuck, I said fuck future ticket sales. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want this. current casino tokens. <laughs> I want casino tokens. <laughs> Where can they find the Tom? You can go to tomstay.com to my excellent website, which I barely look at because I've got people fucking working it for oh, nice. Nice. from Singapore for 50 bucks a <laughs> month. <laughs> I'm an exploiter. <laughs> when it comes to fair trade, I go, fuck that. <laughs> I want this in my favor, bitch. <laughs> I don't so, see yeah, anything wrong with exploiting there. people. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no. I'm we sure. exploited idiots in Tenerife Airport. Didn't we? Mm-hmm. In the Burger King queue. Uh, the, the what? No, a... I think we just joined the queue that no one wants to join, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got to Sanary Fairport. We were away last week. <laughs> okay. And uh, these guys, uh, Finn was getting racially profiled. Why and, is that? And what I, happened? Turkish. Where, where are you getting profiled? Turkish? They thought yeah. you were Turkish. Yeah. He is. No, no he <laughs> is Turkish. Huh? <laughs> no, he is Turkish. Oh, he is Turkish. <laughs> I knew I didn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> If I saw you in my house, I'd racially profile you. <laughs> I'd go, who the fuck let the suit? No, I don't. What are the Turks? About? What are the Turks? Are they the fucking get this cunt a hookah pipe? Yes. Is it a hookah pipe? Yeah. He loves yeah. a hookah pipe. Yeah. He loves a hooker. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know. He loves a male hooker. Man. What's a hooker? A pipe? hooker pipe. It's a prostitute's deck. Shisha. Shisha. Oh, shisha. shisha. Anyway, when he got shisha. through, it was the biggest queue I've ever seen at a Burger King. And what? I, it must have been 250 people. Yeah. And Adam was like, yeah, I don't think this queue's for me. <laughs> yeah. There must be another queue for me. <laughs> Excuse me. I've got fast track on Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. So you think we spent £128. Right, okay. On Burger King, so we'd paid for that what? space. Proper Tory, that. I still don't understand what happened. So there's a long queue. There was a queue in Bear King that was maybe an hour long. Okay. And we walked past it and then went, yeah, we just go and stand over there. And basically bypassed about 45 minutes. So they, oh, they were queued. The, they, yeah, they I were, there was two any queues. Less from a Turk. There was two queues. <laughs> yeah. Right. You've not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not Turkish, I'm Spanish. I, uh, so I, I'm, don't I'm get Canadian. I can say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's in our constitution. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Fuck next special. Can I get a bottle of water, man? I need some water. <laughs> can we get uh, Can we get Tom a bottle of water? Yeah, fuck. Before he's any more racist, man. I could get it myself. No, You're not a fan of kebabs, weird. Tom. Huh? You're not a fan of kebabs. Uh, I like kebabs. Yes, I do. Exactly. You got uh -huh. my families to thank for that. Your family did that? Yeah. Fucking nice family. I think all Turks should thank your family. <laughs> they should. What were the Turks eating before they had kebabs? Just Brussels sprouts. Soil. Oh, thanks. Soil. soil? Yeah, soil. Soil? From Just what dirty? Yeah. Or yeah. yeah. From what I've heard. Did someone throw that bottle in? Mm. No. No. That was mad. I just appeared in your hand. Ah. I didn't see it happen. <laughs> 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 What's your last name then, Finn? Just out of curiosity. We're oh, so good luck. I... Culliver's. Culliver's. Like Gulliver's, but with a K. Oh, Gulliver's. But it looks like Gulliver Culliver's. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never use Mr. and your last name together. That's fine. <laughs> no, I'm Finn's just fine. Isn't it, Finn. Isn't it a fake name anyway? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's not a real name. They made a name what? of it. Yeah. So in Turkey, I think it's about 150 years ago now, they had like a a census kind of thing where everyone had to pick a surname from a list. There was a certain amount of surnames. Talking about racial profiling. That you could pick. Yeah, it was when Ataturk <laughs> came in. Um, and they put, so the, the surname is Killivers, K-I-L-A. I -L -A. I can't even remember how to spell my own name. Uh, and there was a spelling mistake on the form <laughs> that my great granddad or whoever it was submitted. So we're the only family in the world with this name. And no one can say it. Because your grandpa no was dumb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We're actually oh, the only people in the world with this name. Because my granddad was a... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, on the census... Couldn't even you just, spell right. Can you just write down a name and that's your name? No, you had to choose one of them. Oh, that'd be sick. I'd be writing all kinds of That's right? what happened at Ellis Island a lot, didn't it? When the immigrants were coming in, there was a guy with a big piece of paper and they were like, if the name was too long and they couldn't be asked. They just gave them the shortened version of it. So if they were coming from so Italy or say they were coming from Russia, the guy would get bored after like the sixth letter and be like, yeah, yeah, that's your name. That's why all yeah. the Italians in like New York have got like <laughs> mad names and like Johnny Bones. It's just easy to... Yeah, that's it. Johnny yeah. Bones. It's Johnny Bones. He works down the but shipyard. But no, I'm not riding that shit. <laughs> You're Johnny Bones. <laughs> You're Johnny Fingers. <laughs> Short for finger roller? No, <laughs> Johnny Fingers. <laughs> That's Johnny Fingers. He works down the docks. He's typing. I learned. I learned so much on this program. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like I'm on Sesame Street right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Johnny Fingers. Like that's how lazy you got after. Just give him a body part. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Fuck. And here you are, Tony No Knees. <laughs> Tony no, 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 no. Yeah, he's scary, Tony like, Noni. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's Tony yeah. Noni's. He's just got straight legs. He walks like yeah. he walks like a fucking pirate. After a hundred years, it's just no knees. <laughs> Tony no knees. Tony two tellies. <laughs> <laughs> you know that one, don't you? That's a scouse one. Yeah. What? Looks like People get called two tellies if, if they go to the gym too much. <laughs> All right. Because it looks like the caddy <laughs> two tellies. <laughs> And tell me two tellies over here in the gym, honey. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> oh, I, I got reminded of that. My cousin texted me and said, I'm working with a <laughs> Here we go. I'm working with a lad called Fudge. <laughs> he says he knows you. 
I know any cook called Fudge. I may remember I do. <laughs> oh, Fudge. How did you, how did you forget Fudge? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's forget some cook called Fudge. Who the fuck's Fudge? Yeah, why is he called Fudge? He was fat. Because he was fat. <laughs> but then he got really skinny. Because everyone called him Fudge. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you have nicknames at school, Tom? Huh? Did you have any nicknames at school? Uh, well, thanks for asking, Dan. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, of course I did. You can't have the name stayed, not have every fucking. Uh, the youngest one was Tom, uh, uh, was Tom stayed, everybody else left. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's uh, good wordplay, but it's a bit, uh, a bit lost. Everybody loved everybody me else stealing left. a pig in a way I ran. I remember that, Lawn Lots. And and then they just, after a while, they just said, hey, fuck face, get over here. But I it, just realized you know, I'm getting fudge mixed up with pie. What? <laughs> what? There was a kid called Pie. Pie? Oh, so when he went, oh, I know I like called Fudge, you were like, oh, shit, I do know Fudge. No, I know Pie. Yeah, no, there was a lad called George, and he got called Georgie Pie, but he had a bit of weight on him, so then he was just Pie. But then he lost all the weight. Right. Fudge is just Fudge. Is that how, is every That's... fat kid in Liverpool just called something like Trifle? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, do you know Cinema Soup? Yeah, I know Cinema Soup. <laughs> yeah, Tony Cinema yeah, yeah. 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 He's doing Slimming World with fucking Chocolate Gatto. <laughs> <laughs> I just be Gatto, wouldn't he? Sadly. Like <laughs> right, Gatto, lad. Gatto's a just pelvis. Where's Gatto? He's like a bat. John Gatti. <laughs> just, yeah, Gatto. you don't want to be fat in fucking Liverpool, man. Oh, no. That's fucking... I love yeah. what, what did they call you then, Adam? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Porky. I was actually Porky for a bit. Fucking... Buckle in for Boop. this. Thigh eye. Thigh eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no way, man. Yeah. That's class, though. Yeah. Uh, That's <laughs> class. I would take thigh eye. Yeah, well, I've got a muscle that was taken out of my leg in my eyelid. Holy... F Adam, how, what <laughs> percentage of you is really Adam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's still me. Oh. No, it's not someone else's leg. They took it out of my leg and put it in my eyelid, so it got called thigh eye. Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah. shit. They can do that. Yeah, I was the only kid who could do heads and volleys at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and to think... I love it when we're getting old line in. <laughs> yeah, that works. A football career. <laughs> <laughs> got the operation for this. Can I try and remember it? all these nicknames? 260. Yeah. Um, my oh, yeah, my nickname was 260 for a bit. <laughs> Because <laughs> on own I'm clothes explain. on own clothes day. Okay, own uh, clothes day. Where you could go in not in uniform. Uh, that uniform was every day for us, Adam. That, yeah. It's called freedom. <laughs> <laughs> it's called freedom. But the days that they weren't indoctrinating us <laughs> I went in in uh, a load of stuff from Hugo Boss. <laughs> and one of the lads was taking the piss out of me saying, your clothes are shit. And I said, fuck off, this costs 260 quid. <laughs> <laughs> For five years. <laughs> 260. I love your friends. <laughs> Here's another one. My auntie's a stylist. <laughs> it's a long one. Yeah, I tried a, a new hairstyle at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm going back in the vault for these nicknames. <laughs> I tried a new hairstyle. Wait, <laughs> and uh, everyone was going, "What the fuck have you done with your hair?" And I said, "It looks good." And they said, "No, it doesn't." And I said, "Your opinion doesn't matter because my auntie said it looks good, and my auntie's a stylist, and that none of that's true." <laughs> <laughs> so they called me my auntie's a stylist. Like you couldn't deviate away from anything. What? That was not, if you had any indifference, you were fucked. Up. <laughs> Power Ballad Allard, you were Alan. Power Ballad Allard, yeah. Yeah. For oh, fuck. <laughs> Adam, mm. I don't know why you're not more scarred, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any? Just no, like, just fuck, can't. nobody picked on me like that, man. It wasn't I, getting picked on, it was I, just mates. It was awesome. Oh, it was just mates. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was people who I would invite so to my wedding. So they weren't saying it while they were. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we'd like to invite you to the to the wedding of two sixty and cheesecake. <laughs> She's lost a bit of timber. <laughs> They've been in love since school. Oh fuck! I didn't have God. one. No, I was just Carl. That's hilarious. <laughs> Carlos, maybe had a push. Yeah, easy man. <laughs> that was funny. Were you hard in school? All the the hard kids never had nicknames. They just mm. had like one name, and then no one fucked with them. Were you a bit like mean? Yeah, I used to, <laughs> I used to batter everyone. No. <laughs> yeah, what what fun nicknames did you have, Carl? None. Yeah. They called me Mr. Carl. Because <laughs> they fucking knew. Yeah, you saw me spinning the air kick some kids I'd clean off once. He's like, he's just Carl in. Right. <laughs> you got some anti Semitic abuse for a while. That was you know, only was... from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, that was only from you. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> and that was in private as well. <laughs> What you just said then is I said some horrible things to you once. Yeah. No, you did. Uh, oh, was your nickname in school? You did have some uh, semantic abuse, you know, on WhatsApp. <laughs> Never. He called me. No. <laughs> Listen, preemptive yellow card. Oh, Listen. what? Hey. hey. Oh, God. Oh. Were they, did you have the one psycho kid at school? The one that you were always freaked out about? Yeah, man. Michael Eaton. Michael Eaton. Oh, yeah, his name is Psycho. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on the internet. <laughs> oh, Michael, I hope you're watching, if you're still alive. Yeah. Michael Eaton. Oh, that kid was scary. He was kind of bright, but something was not there. Yeah. He used to hold on to boiling hot radiators and be like, I don't feel anything. <laughs> What? I'm telling you, I'm want, telling you, huh. no one fucked with Michael Eaton. Like, we had lads in our school. How have we done so much school chat and you've never brought this gun up? <laughs> he was. He was, he was, uh, he, right? He was inexplicably Michael Cockney. Heaton. No one knew hey, his history. Michael Heaton, you mean? Michael Heaton. <laughs> he was Cockney. No one really had the backstory. He's like, oh, I'm Michael Heaton. Right? Well, this is in a school in Lancashire. And everyone was so scared of him. We really didn't have the reason. <laughs> You've employed him through your garden now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Ooh, I've cut myself. I can't feel it. Um, <laughs> you know, in like old schools, there was there was like pipes yeah. that should not yeah. be fucked with because yeah. they were like feeding the whole like school. He, he'd hold on to them and everyone would be like, oh, that's hot. And he'd be like, I don't feel it. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. How long for? One of the, pfft, Hours. Like not a... Hours. Yeah, not Weeks. Like, In fact, he thought it was a fucking contest. Yeah. <laughs> if he didn't take his hand off this radiator, he would win a car. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Nightingale. Yeah. Michael Eaton. He's in the corridor, man. <laughs> Where he's been for the last three months. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, we've Proving been... to everybody how fucking psycho he is. <laughs> we've all been off school. I've been here all Easter. Uh, Do you have yeah, any psychos scary. at your school, Finn? Yeah, Callum, he put some chewy in my hair. Oh, uh, what'd you do? Psychopath. I, nothing, it's still there. I didn't know he was He was new to the school. I didn't know he was hard. We were playing five aside. It got a bit heated. I pushed him. I didn't know. I was just playing footy. And I was a little fat kid, so I was like, okay, I can... It was before any of us had, like, grown. So I was like, okay, I can handle myself. I'm fat, I'll just shoulder barge in. Did that, and then later shoulder on... Shoulder barge? Yeah. <laughs> Got four shoulders. Shoulder barge? <laughs> <laughs> and later on, he just... Shoulder barge? He, shoulder barge? He came behind me and was like... Yes. <laughs> he put, like, his arm around me. He was like, oh, good game. But what he was actually doing was he put a chewy in my ear, and I had to go bald after that. How long were his arms? Uh, no, I just didn't notice. You know, oh, it's a snide <laughs> move, that. That's a yeah, but that snide move. That doesn't really say you're hard, though. Like, like that's he not a, hard. He that's later, not uh, the, <laughs> like, if he, he later he, what? He, uh, he, he came in front of the librarian. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing. Yeah. He <laughs> jizzed. Came. Wait, how, Finn? Can I just teach you how to have conversations? You know, if someone goes, hey, was any psychos at your school? <laughs> and the two stories you've got about a man, are he put Chewy in the air? Yeah. And he come in front of the librarian. I was making it personal first, and then I'll tell you this. Yeah, you bit. always lead with jizz in front of a librarian. What do you mean yeah. he come in front of the librarian? He was having a... And then he put gum in my hair. Yeah. That's the that way. Was it was gum. Gum. 
<laughs> and a little bit of <laughs> He was, uh, he, was a, uh, he was having a wank in the library, uh, as you do when you're Ow. 13. <laughs> and then the librarian went, what are you doing? <laughs> he was like, doesn't matter, does it? And then like revealed himself and came in front of the librarian. What? And yeah. got instantly <laughs> expelled from the school. Yeah. He got suspended. I didn't see him again. Suspended? suspended. <laughs> what, what, he's back three fuck? days later? Hey, teach, guess who's back? <laughs> you go to jail for that? He was 13. No, but I mean, you get expelled for things, you get jailed What year for? was it? What year was it? Yeah. Uh, that all depends uh, if you're going to 20, jail or not. 2011? 2011. Uh, were, yeah. were they fucking the students in 2011? <laughs> <laughs> Not in real, they're all fucking psycho. <laughs> Wait, did he, did he come on her? No, I think he just came on the table. <laughs> if you come on a librarian. What was his name? Callum. Callum, that's it. You've come on the table and you know what? You're getting punished now. We're turning all the radiators off. <laughs> you can't touch any of them for a week. Ooh, that's a hot wank. Uh, we only had murderers, Tom. I bet you, I bet you, I just wait. I bet you, <laughs> what was his name again? Callum. Uh, Callum, I bet you Callum fucking jerks off to that moment every day of his fucking life, man. The day, like, that's the librarian fantasy. <laughs> she and was not had the it. librarian huh? fantasy. She was not the librarian not for fantasy. You. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, really? Like, yeah. fucking. She was, it doesn't she matter. She was a elderly Polish woman. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, how I like yeah. them. <laughs> Tom's a bit Fuck like the Callum. Turks. <laughs> <laughs> It's old Polish women with oh, saggy. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Watch it. I don't have a card. <laughs> Who fucks my card? Imagine a football in your neck. Hang on, how can I send you off? <laughs> yeah, Tom, we only had murderers. We had, huh? We only had murderers in our school. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. You only had murderers? Six or seven in our year. Really, man? Yeah. Wow, fuck it. And counting. Yeah, yeah. The stats what? are going up. It's going what, up. Did, were they gangs or nope. like, like, no, just. It was a nice school, but we just had a bad batch of absolute. Oh, cunts. Tom, just to clear yeah. it up, there's no, there was no murders while they were in like year nine. Just since, this is since, since school. They left oh, school. Oh, like they left yeah. Yeah. and became what they were supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you had seven psychos. Yes. That fucking went out Kill and people. really caused a lot of havoc. Yeah. Fucking nice, buddy. Yeah, me and Adam. You're number that. eight. How do I know you're not part of this bunch, Carl? I think he could kill people. I think he could too. Like, look at that face. If you saw that face and said, this guy kills people, the beard gives it away, man. <laughs> totally does. But I don't think you do, Carl. I don't? Yeah, good. I'm a lover, Ooh. Tom. <laughs> I'm a lover. Talking no, about we fucking had, old we Polish had, women. We had just fucking crazy. I'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody murdered anybody. Go on. But we had a guy, and I know he's dead now, because fucking he, he got, I think what happened was he got, in a, he was a normal kid, got in a car accident or something like that, came back all fucking nuts, and just fucking every day that cunt beat somebody up, man. Every fucking day until I finally fucking had it. Did you ever fight the psycho guy? No. Oh, I fought that fucking psycho. Oh, really? Yeah, it was awesome, man. It was the day I learned not to let anybody get back up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a real life lesson. My <laughs> uncle told me that when I was a kid. Yeah, man. Genuinely. No, oh, no, dude. Dude, we were at this place in Canada. In Canada, you don't have these parties here. I, I'm positive you don't. But in Canada, especially up north in fucking Quenelle, whatever, we had these big parties where you'd have the bonfire, you'd steal wood from the fucking mill, have like a 30-foot fucking bonfire, and then ACDC playing, put in a fucking shitload of alcohol, and fucking let the teenagers rage man and so uh fucking i got tired of daryl stole a whole bunch of beer from my buddy <laughs> and uh fucking then we squared off and now you square off at these parties i'm probably the same in a bar i'm gonna beat that cunt up and then you walk by him and give him a, you, what did you call it Huh? Huh? A shoulder barge. Yeah, a shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really so I wasn't. That, I didn't look that effeminated. That's not even a word. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I was trying yeah. to say? Because <laughs> real men don't say that word. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> so, 
Yeah, so squared off, and I was like going, okay, here we go, let's fucking do this. And I punched the guy, fucking punch him. I got him fucking down on the ground. I thought, this guy's not a psycho, fucking, he's fucking easy. And then he got back up, and holy fuck, the fury of punches that came at my face at that <laughs> of Jesus Christ, man. And then not only that, he relentlessly hit my head with a steel toe boot. <laughs> And and I, I and I went back home, face fucking swollen out of my mind, and thought, I'm never letting anybody up again. <laughs> that was a real fucking eye opener day for the psycho. When I was like, but did you ever fight, Dan? I don't think you're a fighter, though. No, I'm not really. I had no. a bit of a a bit of a dust up with a mate of mine, but that yeah? was what did you we do? Were... Did you fuck? Where'd you hit him? Why I on? Did you, did you... Why I on? <laughs> See, but, I told but, me uncle I was having a fight with someone. Uh, <laughs> he was very drunk as well. My uncle, I was like, I'm having a fight with this lad on Monday. Like, we, you know, a pre arranged fight where it yeah. was like Monday oh, those day, are the best. doing it. Oh, yeah. hang on. I thought pre arranged fights were for the Friday afternoon. You had it, you had a weekend to think about it. <laughs> it depends on like which one goes on Sky. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a Monday night game. It was a Monday night fight. Did you have bike, yeah. Yeah. Did you have bike racks? Did you, did you um, go fight? My uncle told me, just make sure you finish it. And I was like, what do you mean? He said, don't leave it like where he can come back with all his mates and get you. Yeah, you've got to finish it. And I was like, are you this? telling me to kill him? <laughs> and he was, and he this went, is where the seven murders <laughs> come there you from. Go. And he went, he went, you got to do what you got to do. Like he was hammered drunk. And then I'm pretty sure he confessed to a murder. <laughs> <laughs> so a female friend of his had a really abusive boyfriend. And he was like, you know, I found out about that. And you know. This is a funny story, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me <just> get that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I found out about that. And you know, I just thought, you know what? This is what bridges were made for. And no one's seen him since. Yeah, that's not what bridges were made for, is it? <laughs> Joe, we've got a river here, and we need to hide abusers' bodies. <laughs> oh, shit, and we can get to that town over there. That's secondary. <laughs> the main thing is, you beat up your wife, and we'll be able to drop you in the river. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my uncle murdered someone who was abusing his bed. <laughs> is that what no. speaking of fucking Polish women was? No, no, that All was right, okay. else. <laughs> Don't you talk about Polish women, <laughs> Uh, Jack Finnegan, when we were on holiday, he told me he's got a fancy of fucking a really old woman. <laughs> <laughs> he's behind the camera. How old would you go, Tom? Huh? If you were, you know, obviously you're a, you're a well, happily I'm, married I'm at man. that age now. I'm at that age oh, where, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would love to be a 70-year-old boy toy. Would yeah. you? Yeah, totally. Fucking pay for everything. Just to do yeah, it's a little... Not, it's, not a, it's not a poor old woman. No, I don't... If, you, if you're going older lady, it's not like, ooh, <laughs> I, I can't really afford to go out. Like, uh, the heating bill. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had a date, but she died of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understood what Jack was saying. No, Jack, Carl know. was there when we were talking How about this. How old would you go? I'd go, like, <coughs> as old as I could stomach... For my age, 42. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what it's like, do you know what I mean? So you're saying there's a certain point, there's a certain point where you, you couldn't stomach it anymore. Yeah, I don't think I'd okay. be able to get hard at a certain point, but I think I could go as high as like 92. <laughs> <laughs> How old is Carol Vorderman? Like 62. 62? Oh, yeah. you can go higher than yeah. that. I'm talking oh, like, no, I'm pitching you're like me nan's still mates. Great, man. You're still good at 60. Your nan's mates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're still good at that. 60. Doesn't even count. <laughs> like, there's an that doesn't I don't count. Know why I knew that. How old is Amanda Holden? She's younger than that. Isn't she? Google oh, old woman. Couldn't even get her. Oh. Well, it's oh, like Helen don't. Mirren, isn't it? It's no, like the stand, no, just like the old, stand but, woman. No, because she's like got the Hollywood stuff. Pussy. Old woman, ninety-two. Oh, how old's Maya Jamma? Younger than that. Oh. See, I couldn't do that because that looks like she Jimmy, like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> I was on record and say, don't want to fuck Jimmy Savile. But yeah. Oh, 100%. I can do that. She's at 92. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure she was in a British MILF's porn video I've seen. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Not the last one. Wait, some of these are like, these people have been killed. So oh, let's be careful. <laughs> God. So there's still, you can still see if they were fit on. Oh, that's what Bridges Top are Top right there. This is... Top right. There you go. There US, yeah, read the is. headline. There's, there's She's got a bit of crazy gal. in her as well. Yeah. US woman 92 kills son to avoid being sent into care home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She fucks. <laughs> my granddad was getting there. He was starting to threaten. 
Yeah. I don't, like, I'm not attracted to them, but I think I could just, you know, imagine it was someone else. It'd be good to see what the noises they made. Then what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> Damien Webster. Fuck me in the rose. I wonder if um, she warned him. Fuck me in the rose. And we need a break. <laughs> Fuck me in the rose. Yeah, okay. I feel like the ring. Ring, 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 Rosie. The ring, ring, Rosie. <laughs> yeah, she remembers that. Um, she have a break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Dude, let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me in the Not my show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for live entertainment. <laughs> What's happening, lids? How are we doing? I don't know whether you've heard the news, but it is smooth sack summer for 2023 that's right you're going to need manscaped and their products manscaped.com to get your sack nice and smooth with the performance package the platinum package the perfect package whatever package you choose if you use the promo code word 20 you get 20 percent off and free delivery worldwide for example if you go for the platinum package you get the lawnmower 4.0 water resistant pube trimmer you get the weed whacker 2.0 the ear and nose trimmer you get a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner you get a body wash a deodorant for your balls a crop preserver for your balls a crop reviver for your balls a magic mat like a shavable a, a, a shaving mat so it catches all your hair it doesn't go all over your bathroom and you get free gifts you get the shed which is the travel bag which is worth 40 dollars and you get the manscaped undies which are literally the comfiest undies i own mate okay go to manscaped.com right now use the promo code word 20 20 percent off and free delivery worldwide and also Manscaped have got some game-changing products coming in the very near future. So keep an eye on future adverts. If you're already a Manscaped user, thanks to us, and you've used our promo code to get yourself this discount and this free, free delivery, there is more stuff coming very soon. Manscaped are our sponsors for three years nearly. They're absolutely fantastic. We push them because we believe in them. Everyone who works here uses this stuff to keep their pubes clear so that they can get sucked off more often. Why don't you do the same? Get yourself a blowy. It's Pride Month. Um, Part four. Oh. Part four. <laughs> there we go. That's good, that. What a really good way of just like, yeah, we know which section it is. Great, I love it. Tom, you're going on tour. I am going on tour, Adam. Well, Tomstay.com for tickets. Tom, you go to Tomstay.com for tickets. We start off in October, on October 3rd in, in the great city of Hull. <laughs> it's really gonna be my make or break gig that night <laughs> you got the uh, industry in yeah i got a lot of industry in <laughs> if it goes well i feel i'll get that netflix three deal special yeah so we're gonna start there and we're gonna go all the way through until next year uh, and Tom? like there's 80 some odd days you sure your first night's in hull because your website says otherwise <laughs> You know what? Uh, what is my website? Oh say? no, sorry. Yeah, sorry. But it's not October. It's not October. Oh, it's, what? Uh, is August. So you're doing. You're doing September. It's so September. you're doing. Oh, you're doing Edinburgh, aren't you? That that just showed how stupid I was. <laughs> and it's the I 13th of September. After August, it's the 13th with October. of September. <laughs> Whatever. Well, Here, here's my we'll definitely point. Definitely edit this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is if I find the gig and you're there, <laughs> we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do the gig. Tom, if I find Tom, it. Tom, where's the last? Where's the the last gig? Like the, the fina I don't know, Carl. Where is the last fucking gig? Where? South End. South End on Sea, yeah. my stronghold. Those people <laughs> fucking love me there. Are you, going to, you going to Barnard may, Castle? Is that the one with the Barnard yeah, Castle? The yeah. You going to get your eyes tested? Y y what? You going to get your eyes tested? Oh, to go get my what? Do you know Dom Dominic story? Cummins. Oh, the the fucking guy that went and fucked his girlfriend. During COVID. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, that's right. all right. <laughs> Is it? That's my kind of guy. They went on holiday, didn't they? And Tom, you're in the beautiful city of Liverpool on the 1st and 2nd of November. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be fucking hanging around here. Yeah. We couldn't get the Hangar 34 where my special's on. You yeah. can also go to tomstay.com and, you know, get that one. Because that one's house. fucking funny. I talk about buying a cock ring at a fucking moto station and it's fucking <laughs> awesome. Okay. okay. <laughs> Fucking awesome. You're in the slaughterhouse on the first and second. Yeah, Don't yeah. It's thing. fucking slaughterhouse here and then all the other, yeah, totally. Fuck. All the other dates. 
Okay, can where I say this? Where are you recording this? it? Huh? Where, where are you recording it? I don't know because <laughs> me and my son do all the recordings, man. So I got I'm at the mercy of that little fuck. I'm at the mercy of my child because <laughs> even if I I like fuck it, I would love to work with like other people because they would listen to me, Dan. <laughs> But when I'm filming with my son, he's always like, shut the fuck up, old man. <laughs> and we'll do it when I'm goddamn good and ready. And then my anxiety will come out. <laughs> and I'll go, what, what happens if I'm not on YouTube within a month? <laughs> They'll forget about me. <laughs> Tom, was this similar huh? to the cock ring? Is that, let me see it. I can't see. Yeah. Bash. Oh, lovely. No, you can't get this out of Modo. <laughs> the, you can't pay three pounds and this slide. So, this is an Amazon order. Uh, oh, no. This love is honey. a well oh, love honey thought dog. out, but yes, I will take it. <laughs> you can have it. Thank you. Have you, have you, have you, have you can have it. Huh? We're sponsored by Love Honey, the sex toy company. Oh, that's awesome. I love Love Honey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Fucking. And that one's uh, basically linked to an app. I think, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. you can put that on and go and, you know, open your tour. I'm going to get Trudy home. to put it on her yeah. fake cock thing. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it double vibrating. No, yeah, we've got one for Trudy as well. Well, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fell out. Whoa! Oh my god, I love it. So that goes up an asshole. That goes up her asshole. <laughs> Wow. Looks like a hearing aid. You know what? You, you, it don't, is. you don't even believe me. <laughs> it's that yeah. powerful you'd ask it's not hearing. <laughs> <laughs> After being with someone for 28 years, there's enough trust in our relationship that I'm going to do this. <laughs> that's that's 28 years. It's going to be, all right, who are you going to be? I'm going to be fucking Tom Stade, the lone ranger that's about to shove this. What is this called? <laughs> Check the box. <laughs> Stop it. I was dating a girl for a little bit Stop and I made her come on the bus. It's called. It was nothing to do with one of them. It's not <laughs> called round anything. And round, 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 and round. It's not called anything. Sink, your, it looks like. It looks it's like it's called, called the, the sink. sink. The other side. Oh, it's sink. Um, they are yours. They're our gift from Thanks, us. man. You have fun with them. I'm going yeah. to try. That's what we've given I'm you. I'm going to try this out on my own first. Love that if one. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? <laughs> Tom, just to, re hey, just to recap. What a man does in a travel lodge <laughs> on his own is a man. <laughs> We've ordained him as a minister and yeah. given him two sex toys. Yeah. That's, what a day. That's our gift. What a great day. <laughs> what a great. The Lord would be proud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Trude, I'm coming home. <laughs> Get your asshole ready. <laughs> By the front door. Oh, yeah, Trude's all in her best skimpies. <laughs> Phil, have you got any questions? Yeah, yeah. yeah we've got some questions. Okay. This one is from Joe. If you could relive your best day ever, but it meant you had to relive your worst day the day before, would you do it? No. No? So the best day doesn't outweigh the worst day. <laughs> we've got some bad worst days. Mm. I, I'm quite happy with just trying to chase... Like the second best day forever. Like most of my days are all right. The worst day is horrific. What's the best day of your life? The ranch was up there. The Apollo? The ranch was up there. <laughs> 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 the Apollo was good, but no. Not even the arena was better than the Apollo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The arena's up there for one of my best days. Yeah. The arena, the Apollo is probably top 10. But then the ranch, I, I genuinely think the ranch was the best day of my life. That pearl was one of my favorite moments of my life. Like, what was the ranch? What we went to a ranch, ranch in Nashville. Oh, okay. And we That's worked on cool. the ranch for the day. Patreon. That was your best day. Hardware pod. It was just, it was <coughs> so cool. We, like they did like a big barbecue feast. They had like music around a campfire. We were yeah. all just a bit. I music. nearly got shot by NRA members. <laughs> cool. Yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> so not your best day then, Dan. <laughs> it, was, it was up there. <laughs> <laughs> I love antagonizing gun nuts. Is everyone's worst day losing a family member? Yeah. Early? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that's, it, does it's out, good. it does outweigh it a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's good that I can't think of many awful days. Uh, yeah. You know, but I can think of a ton of good days. Maybe that's a good sign. That is Hang a good on. sign. I've got a question about the scenario, right? Mm. So... Okay. Obviously, my worst day is my mum dying. So, do I just have to relive that happening, but I know I'm reliving it? Or does, like, my dad die? 
And <laughs> no, to... you 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 just you're put back in that day. So you've just got to go through that again to then, then have the right next day, day you have your best day ever. You're not, you're not, you're, you're back there with no <laughs> cognition of your future. It's definitely going to ruin the good day, isn't it? When you have to deal with the trauma of that again, where you're like, oh, that was bleak. Oh, today we're going to a ranch. No, 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 I feel like. It reset. just makes a wish. You reset. Yeah, you reset. Good. It's not the day after. Hey, that Scouse guy keeps crying near the horses. Yeah. Because <laughs> yesterday he was fucked by his uncle in the oh. basement. <laughs> wow. He lived his worst day. How did and you know how my went. mom died? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mamorka, that'd that be the worst. <laughs> John! <laughs> Not our little 260. <laughs> right, this one is from Ash Norris. Wag Wag, Adam, Dave, and the rest of the lids. So the scenario is as follows. You have to have sex once in every 24-hour period in order to stay alive. However, it cannot be with the same person within any 48-hour period and you cannot tell your other half about your condition. Therefore, you must find someone or multiple someones to sleep with every other day and find ways to hide it in order to both survive and keep your relationship. How would you survive? Right. I'm not <laughs> sure what, what was the end game on that. What do I win? You've, if got, I... you've got to fuck Life. someone behind your wife's back every day. E every day. Every other day. Or she dies, I think. Every, or, other, or, every other day. Or your wife dies. Yeah. yeah I, Let's yeah. change it. Yeah. yeah. So your partner to dies. Us. I'm going to miss Carl, how are you doing? <laughs> how am I I'm having sex with the women? Yeah. Because if she dies, then you could fuck anyone anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so like, kill just her off. Just miss one day. And yeah, I'll just fuck. kill her off. And then, hey, baby, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> this time we can fuck two days in a row. <laughs> Tom on purpose forgets to do it on day one. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Trudy. Uh, uh, would I? Would I do it? <laughs> no, there's no would. Yeah, you're, you're, you're in this how situation. Would how? How would I have sex with women? Yeah, the answer is back. You're a guy, no, uh, sexual. Guy, I, guy I just go out and go, hey. Don't have sex in it. <laughs> oh yeah, smooth man. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be at sex workers' houses. Hi, hello, here's my money. <laughs> no, no, I'm not paying for that. Fuck that. To live. I go out and earn it. <laughs> <laughs> to live. Yeah, you... I want to earn it because then the jeopardy helps. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. Four a.m. You're like shit <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> hell, That's a ropey night. That one, isn't it? Yeah. You're going for the fucking. Surely you know... it stops at midnight. You're only yeah. four hours into trying. Uh, you're going for the five to twelvers then. Yeah. It's grim. Yeah, I'm, do I'm doing just, it. We'll, well, everyone's just I mean, Laura would not be down. helping because well, in theory, you've, your partner, then there's an away leg and then there's a home leg. Would you tell her? No, you're not allowed to. You're, you're not allowed, allowed to. Surprise us. She'd kill herself and me on day three. <coughs> could, you not, could you not hide it? I reckon I could convince my missus if it was to save her life. But you can't tell love. her? I know. He's saying if, if she, he did tell Laura, uh, she'd kill herself. No, really? no, 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 no. Within the thing, you're not allowed to tell your partner. So it would be end game. Could you get away with her? No, I, this is this is trouble for me. Yeah, it is. Carl, trouble. I'm 42, overweight and bald. I can't turn up and be like, "All right, girl, how are you? No sex. Plus, don't work for me. I doubt it. I don't think I work for anyone. Well, that's how literally Carl. Are they go? No, no sex. <laughs> Give it a go. No, that okay. was that was your Ask tactic. Me for me. Right. Yeah. What are you doing? Tell me. Oh, you plus. Does it have to be a different woman? Yeah. I actually really yeah. love Tom's answer. That you can have just a plus, I, can I have just women say, on rotation. Fucking Dan, you better, or you become a single dad with a two and a six year old. Oh yeah, Laura's getting bummed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you fucking cheat on that woman <laughs> for the rest of your life. Do it to be you, a good dad. <laughs> you don't want to be a single dad. <laughs> I'd pay two women. I'd pay two women. It just have to be. It can't be the consecutive days. Forty-eight hour period. Yeah, I'd pay two women to be me, sexy people. So huh? you are paying for that. Yeah, I don't, just just the same two women. Like, go in, get the job done, save her life. Bosh. But you're having them on PAYE. You're yeah. getting them on, on the... All right, cool. Yeah. That's going to be an, an unusual conversation with the accountant, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've taken on staff. <laughs> What's the next question? For the next question is from Luke Barrow. Hey, Lid, sorry if this has been asked before, but have any of you had any near-death experiences like full-on Final Destination stuff? Love the pod. Keep up the great work. You ever nearly died, Tom? Yeah. Totally, twice. Fell under the ice one time in a river. Classic Canadian. Fucking classic death. <laughs> Too young. But the other one was during lockdown, man. Fucking, I just, I don't know. It was it was really weird. I was like fucking, I was sitting in the kitchen 
And and this is how I think it always happens. This is how I think. Everybody gathering close. This is a serious conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Warm your hands up against the campfire, as I tell you, <laughs> where your soul is about to go. I was just sitting there. I was sitting in the fucking living room, and all of a sudden, I swear to God, fucking my the the fucking room just went and all. Black and then blackout and then the next thing I remember coming to and not knowing how I got down on the ground and all that <laughs> shit. And I thought that's the closest I've ever been to a near death experience because fuck, I, I woke I was really actually shook in, man, because I was like, Oh, so that's how it happens. You're just walking along, taking shit, whatever, all of did a sudden have, it just blanks out, out and goes down, huh? Did you find out what caused it? Nah, I don't, I'm fucking a man, I don't go to the doctor, <laughs> fuck that, bring on another near death, <laughs> wow. let's go! <laughs> you really didn't enjoy uh, COVID restrictions, did you? <laughs> I didn't do any of them restrictions, <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember you telling us. No, me and, me and I would have went to Boris's party, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, there, I was probably there. <laughs> I look at me in the background selling weed. <laughs> I suppose the closest I've come is crashing that car into a wall, but that's wait, really. I don't think you were close to death. Though, no, but that's you? the closest I've come to. You know, if I'd have been going faster, then maybe. But that's, that's I crashed it. my car. Yeah, oh, yeah, on the M6. That was near death. Oh yeah, oh, definitely. I nearly starved you. to death because that bitch wouldn't give me a McFlurry at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, I want to change mine now that I heard you're. <laughs> don't start that. I, I read some tweets about that. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what crashing. people think happened. Yeah. Hey, look, yeah. I'm a bloody, right, that's it. I'm going to see your fucking boss. What a question. What does this guy want to know? Why does this guy want to know, man? Like, <laughs> like, does he, did he have a near death experience and he's not sure if it was a near death experience? It's a weird way to do correspondence on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Got a question for you. Who the fuck are you asking? <laughs> Why? It's emotion behind that question. <laughs> Just wants a question, man. I was on the thing he listens to. That's Steph, all yours, though. Who the fuck is Luke? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Luke! <laughs> Crashing on the motorway, it, the, the percentage you survive in there must have like been scary. If I was 100 yards, That's not even mean, 100, yeah. like 20 yards further, like it would have been a, a, a serious problem. I've aquaplaned a bit, and then <laughs> that's when you just hit water, yeah. and yeah. You, the, you're you not in control. When the guy goes... And then, <laughs> and then oh, it, we had that. Yeah. That uh, was very close. Where was that? On the way to Glasgow. Yeah. Glasgow was a tortured city for me, <laughs> mate. <laughs> I think driving at high speed on British roads, we're all quite close to death, but it's just, we normalize it by going, no, it's fine because you're going that way. And that guy's doing 65 miles an hour going the other way. And there's a good meter and a half between us. So we're safe, you know, because those little dotted white lines tell everyone this. You're so much closer to death in all those situations. I don't think you can count that as a near death experience. No, no, but I- I, I, <laughs> I drove to Chester. But if you had like a little fucking, if you were just aware of like, you know, like a little risk assessment thing that was like, oh, 0%, you cannot die in this situation on 100%. Where would you be at when you're doing 70 miles an hour on a country road, Hi. just driving past other dudes who could be fucking about to have one of Tom's like, oh my God, I'm blacking out. Oh, that would be the worst there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. driving. I, I that, had that, that would have been yeah. total death. I had that aquaplane moment and then just righted it. And I, it was an awful moment where I nearly spanned the car. And it was on the way uh, towards Scotch Corner on the country roads. And uh, my first thought was I lived alone in the flat. And it, I was like, oh my God, no if I help. died, there's so much porn just everywhere oh. in that flat. <laughs> it's just my loved ones having to be like, oh, well, he's a, we've got a dead wanker. Like, I was literally, we were, got, we were in the right lane and it was wind mixed with that. And it jumped us into the middle lane. And if there's a car there with a hitter, it literally jumped us. And we we, had to we stop swapped the next, lanes without... Yeah, we like, had to stop at the next services and just like calm because we were like, fuck. Yeah. What, the car jumped into your lane? No, I was no, in the car without our it. car oh. got oh. aquaplaned and winded into the next lane and we were just lucky there was no car in the way. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we just pulled over to the next services and had a pie. Right. Okay. <laughs> we did. <laughs> yeah. You pulled an accidental fast and furious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was close, that one. This is I think that's what they're going to call one of the next films. <laughs> the accidental fast and furious. <laughs>
Yeah, driving at night is a you scary business They always have the guy, they always yeah. have the dude, I remember the blackout one fucking while driving. You're right, that would have been the, because there was one guy that did it, wasn't it? In Glasgow, there was a dude in a truck that just fucking oh, had a heart shit. attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fucking, <laughs> well, that would be the way. Ask the, them about their near death experience. The worst way to die is someone else's heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking awful way to go. What did he die of? Day. Some other cunt had a heart attack near him. <laughs> <laughs> or imagine if you on your skydive, the guy behind you had a heart attack and you're just floating. Yeah, that's me just falling to my death and then definitely being dead because that cunt is on top of me. Yeah. Yeah. Skydiving, I was so chilled out about We can say this now because this goes it's out next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. It's on the Patreon special. I uh, we couldn't talk about it until now. I was pretty chilled out about that. Um, few months ago, I accidentally turned off the power to Carl's computer when he was uploading an episode and cost him a whole evening and hours and work, and he missed out on hanging out with his missus. And I said, as a as a sorry, part of my sorry was an IOU, and he could do anything. And we went to Nashville, and he had that in his in his. He actually brought the piece of paper, the IOU, to Nashville. And, and he told me I had to do a skydive. And I was actually quite chuffed because he nearly spent the IOU <laughs> in a service station on the way down to London. He nearly got me to run into a soft play area in the service station full of kids and go, <laughs> at the top of my voice. And genuinely, I'd rather die falling out of a plane. Why didn't they use it then? Why did it would have been it? so bad. And I was, I was like, oh God, a skydive. <laughs> and it was all fine until you start flying up in the air in a rickety piece of shit plane with a 60 year old lady next to me who's literally just like, I'm having a great time. She never shit. She was like, that was wonderful. They had like masking gaffer tape in the plane. It felt weird. And then I was still like, I wasn't stressed out. I could feel like you had to concentrate. And as soon as they open the door and you can see how high you are, yeah. it all just got a bit real and you're sort of in front of the dude and he nudges you forward. And I was just concentrating on getting it right. So he's like, put your head back and put your feet low so that when the sort of force of the air hits you, you don't like have back, like whatever whiplash. So it looks like as he's pushing me out of the plane, I'm there going, no, <laughs> no. But it's because he told me to do that. But I think I went a little bit early. So you, he's expecting you to do that once you're out. But I was, as he was nudging me out going, and when we fell, you you lose the feeling of like gravity, like you're weightless. And oh my God, I shit myself. It was good actually, you get used to that. But then when they pull the cord, I'm 14 stone and it pulled on the on your harness. You just feel too fat for the harness. And mm -hmm. that was, it wasn't, obviously it wasn't near death, but you do have the instinct of, you can tell this is dangerous. Yeah. Your body, you, you, there's so many things going through your head. And I felt elated when I landed. I felt great and I, I did enjoy it, but there was part of it. I was like, what if you just slipped out of this harness, you big fat fuck? That in my head, I was like- Being fat makes it hard to slip out, doesn't yeah. it? It didn't feel it. It didn't, I had like a bruise there. And maybe everyone gets that, but I just felt like, God, I feel heavy for this harness. And you're being kept from death here and here. And of course, yeah, it's been checked a load of times, but your, inst the, your reaction, instinctive reaction is, Imagine if you just slipped out. My I, little brother nearly fell out of the pirate ship at Gulliver's World. Same. Similar. <laughs> Mine so. too. What is that about? <laughs> well, that? There's, there's a percentage. There is a percentage that exists where that harness just snapped. So yeah. So if we're doing the zero percent, hundred percent, you're high, aren't you? Because you are. T you're eight thousand feet. One in the failure, air. you're dead. Yeah. That was. I don't know if I'd ever. I have just, you done a skydive? I don't know if I'd ever do it again. Uh, I think I think that's hilarious that fucking halfway down your brain's going, this is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> like, you'd think your brain would have started that process. In the plane, hey, do you like want to fly through the sky, bird man? <laughs> <laughs> This'll be fine. I'd rather do that yeah. than a bungee jump. I don't see what bungee jumps are about. What are the, what's the thrill there? You're just hanging. Upside down, but again, you're like, falling for a while. Yeah, it's that free yeah. yeah. to my head. There, I don't like getting yeah. me socks from under the bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's a shame you can't do that for charity. No, because you're just hanging there and you lower you or pick it up. Do you know when you get like something's on the floor and you hang off the bed and you're upside down? That hurts me great in the brain. So I'm not doing a bungee jump. 
That's just a big version of it. It's a big uh, yeah, I've done a bungee jump. Those are awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the West Edmonton Mall, man, when we used to gig at fucking Yuck Yucks in Edmonton, we'd get free tickets to bungee jump into a fucking pool. <laughs> Do you want to be dipped? Of course I want to be dipped. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> into yeah, a pool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, there's a big fucking Olympic sized pool. And then they have the bungee jump cord, and you know they you could go for fucking free, man. Like, but I, I always felt like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You know Breaking what I mean? Neck? At a pool, like fucking when you go to New Zealand, like that's terrifying. You're doing it into a ravine, yeah, or into a ravine. You know what I mean? Like, if the rope snaps in the Olympic pool, <laughs> I think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> if the rope snaps in New Zealand down a ravine. <laughs> You You'll be hearing me screaming, this is dangerous. <laughs> but wouldn't you just smash into the pool, into the bottom of the pool? No, 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 no. Because, okay, they'll, they'll go, do you want to be dipped, right? So they, they, can measure, they can measure exactly how far you're going to go down with your weight and all that sort of stuff. So, so, like, if you say they don't, and then some fucking asshole guy dips you anyways. But there's still 12 feet of fucking water you know what I mean? So yeah, if it yeah. snaps, I'm, I'll probably still drown because I've got a big metal fucking <laughs> rope attached to me. It's not like I'm going, ooh, I survived. So you have to go in like a pencil? Because if you went in like that, you're fucked, aren't you? Yeah, well, I, of course, Carl. Like, <laughs> yes, if there's little minor things that just, happen, That sounds dangerous. Are you, is that neck. what you I'm did? Just, you got a free ticket because you were playing Yuck Yucks at the weekend. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah, like, yeah, 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 you yeah, want yeah. a free bungee. Because cause the bungee jump, it's fucking barter, buddy. Like, fucking, you go, hey, bungee jump guys, do you want to come down to the show for free? If you give us your bungee jump and... Uh, I don't know what the word I was going to say after that, but <laughs> there was definitely trade involved. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Bunge, yeah, so that's the closest. But, yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> We've got Last bit, one. Bit Last of, one. Bit of advice to round us out. Oh, uh, okay. Awesome. Uh, All right. I'm here to help. Right. Here to help solve your problems. So this one is from... Oh, Carl's angry. This one's from Tom. Hey, lids, need some serious advice from you lot. One of my best mates from school's mum and dad have recently separated after she found out he'd been having an affair for years. I was on a night out recently with some guys from work when I saw the mum in the booze room we had a catch up. To cut a long story short, we ended up necking at the end of the night when we were both a bit worse for wear. We've been texting for a couple of weeks since. She's been sending pictures and all and wants to meet up ASAP. What should I do here? I've not seen the lad for a couple of years, but we were dead tight in high school. Think Adam and Carl levels. Are friends' mums out of bounds, or should I be getting myself some <laughs> MILF action? God. Bring her to the library. <laughs> <laughs> she is a librarian, you can tell. Sexy. That's tough Hello, fucking the friend's mom. A problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, I was on a nice house a few weeks ago. My best mate's my ass there. So anyway, I'm fucking bummed that I haven't <laughs> What do I do now? Because there's still shit on me, dick. Let me know. <laughs> I would love... He should, he should call... He should call his... Does his friends... Does his mom's friend know that he's banging I don't think the mom. friend knows from what, from what he said. And what's his full name? Tom. Just Tom. He's not put a surname. <laughs> Just give him Garrett. a surname. Garrett. Garrett. Tom Garrett. Tom. Old Tommy Garrett. Tom or, or uh, Jake, either one. Oh, you can't. Jakey, That'd just be, yeah. You can't be banging your mom, your mate's mum, surely. This, Come on. This, it's unreal. If I had stopped speaking to the mate, I would. How? What period of time have you got to leave it of not speaking to the Three mate? Three weeks. Yeah. yeah. You didn't answer a text and look who I'm fucking. I think it would be the mom's responsibility to tell tell yeah. her son. Yeah. You know what I mean? To go, look, I've got to sit you down. You have a new dad, <laughs> and I think you're gonna like him. <laughs> because I think you might even be best friends. <laughs> yeah. I I uh, like, who, <laughs> there's only like three or four people we went to school with whose mom I wouldn't goose now. <laughs> <laughs> You still, who you still friend? Are you still friends with? All I wouldn't use your ma. Thank out you. of respect. That's lovely. Nice you know what I mean? Yeah. Josh's ma off limits. Cool. Steve Dixon's ma yeah. off limits. Yeah. Yeah. 
Everybody the only other lad I still really see from school is Ryan Short. We get like once a year, maybe. I yeah, wouldn't use his ma. We're losing, Everyone else's ma. Get on me, dude. We're losing Senegal with this chat, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's so good of you. Just, you know, the, the, the four mums. You're such a man of honor. The rest of them, if they're like, just women. I no, only fuck yeah, just moms women. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm 52. <laughs> they're just women. If I fuck somebody without a kid, it's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you were in like a bar in Tenerife and there was like a you know late forties Scottish woman. You're not gonna say who's your son? Do I know him? I'd go yeah. all out to fuck her. Yeah, I'd check. toilets first stop. Yeah, if yeah. it's not there, I'd be like, do you know what? Just get in this booth. I'll oh, fuck you there. Yeah, I'd definitely check. I'd got a room key though, because you need one. If you got if you got it back to the hotel and you couldn't get in, and stupid. your phone was on charge, you couldn't. I think there should be a, a rule though. If you start, yeah, if the mum has to go sit down, love, I've got something to tell you. Uh, I've got a new boyfriend. Who is he? Well, you already know him. He's on that picture from you in school. <laughs> Tom. And you can guess which one. It's bad. Quick question. Guess. Let's say you were single. Right? Yeah. Trudy's yeah. gone. No, not let's say dream. <laughs> Trudy's <laughs> gone. Trudy's <laughs> gone. Right? Trudy's gone. Okay. And you're on holiday, right? And you're I'm talking on to holiday. this woman. I'm rocking it. Got it. If she tried to, to fuck you in the toilet. Who? The woman. She took you to the toilet. She like to the fuck. mom? Yeah. Like, like my but friend. you're you now. Would you then, A, try and take her home to the hotel, or would you just be like, fuck it, let's do it on a bar stool or in the booth or on the table? Like what's the do? Would you fuck publicly? <laughs> would I fuck publicly? Yeah. Or try to. Uh, I got it. Yeah, I fucking, this is where I need fucking seven shots of tequila. Yeah. Let's if, say you'd have like seven Guinness. No, he drinks if Guinness. I, baby Guinness. Seven baby Guinness. Yeah, yeah. I would go. F uh, yeah, I could do it. Oh, I could do it. Could you do alone. it? Bro? Adam, what, what's the worst? This would be my thought plan on that. Like, what's the end game here? So let's say, no Trudy, single, fuck a girl on a bar in Tenerife. Yeah. yeah. The only outcome I see is legend. Yeah. yeah. Or, or that's the only outcome yeah. I see. Or yeah, having, just, like yeah. nobody's nobody's clapping for some reason. Or having to adopt three kids. That's yeah. The, I mean well, that's the end of course. Yeah, yeah. No, she's got oh, three did kids. I get her pregnant that night? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's like an annual thing with me in this bro. Oh, it's because this happened. You dirty just, dog. Yeah. Would you, know. Adam? Would you go public? Oh yeah. I'd, I'd watch someone else do it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and what would you say when you saw me doing it? <laughs> like, why are you, why are you fucking legend. Out the I go, Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go, we shouldn't talk about this until the next public episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we wrap it up? Is yes. that a part? Come yeah. and see me on tour, dannightingale.com. It starts 31st of August, goes through to November 22nd. My previews start next week, or this week now, 28th and 29th in Northern Dunn, www.dannspreviews.com, and they go right through the summer. Most of them are sold out. There are some tickets available later on. Tom stayed is on tour, tomstayed.com. That yeah. starts on the 13th of September in Hull. <laughs> Uh, I'm on tour, Third. Adam Rode, at UK. Uh, the podcast has got two tour shows left. We've got Vicar Street in Dublin uh, on the 6th of July. And then on the 15th? 15th of July, we're in Glasgow at the O2 Academy. Um, and last week when we were in Tenerife, Steve tried to fuck someone in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets. <laughs> yeah. Tickets are all gone for that. <laughs> <laughs> Steve tried to fuck someone in the disabled toilet. The disabled <laughs> toilet was occupied, so he got his dick out in the Dubliner in Tenerife. And then walked into a lamppost. Oh, then. <laughs> and shut, and shut no, he didn't get his dick out because he, he got his pants halfway off and she said no. Put them Tom on. stayed, ladies and gents. <laughs> All yeah. time fucking gotta be Hall of Fame now. Come on. Yeah. Live in Liverpool. Buy it. <laughs> Live in Liverpool. Stand up special. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You were, yeah. Music. Music. Oh, it's me this week. Yeah. Oh, nepotism yeah. is not pop. I mean, I know I got the well, job. Didn't get ready for two weeks in a row. Uh, <laughs> so it's my EP came out on Friday. The Do You Know EP. Also, the Nashville soundtrack, which has gone down very well, is out. So this is uh, a song off my EP called Drop in the Ocean. <gasps> Careful what in does the EP ocean. stand for? Extended play. Oh, oh interesting. This this good. Mm. What's LP stand for? <laughs> Long play. Long play. Uh, what does AP stand for? Old Mars Piaget. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Why doesn't anybody ask those questions? <laughs> <laughs>
Sehr lustig. Ich <lacht> 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 <lacht>